night this time. Huh. Four minutes. Close. It it is early. Early stream. See, you know what I'm finding with myself right now? What? Now that I'm I've bidding I've bid something on on eBay, I keep like checking and refreshing the page like every five minutes. I, I hate it. Cause I really fucking want this game. Then then get it. But I don't want to, like, I have like a hundred and, like, two hundred dollars in my spending account. I don't want to overblow it. Especially, well, no, here's the thing, I did get work. I am working this Thursday, so, ha. Huh. Pretty good. My, my, uh, fifty dollars every, uh, every three weeks that I get from work. Bro, I was, so, so one of the, so you know how to get to my university campus, I have to take two buses, right? Uh-huh. The second bus was down, like that bus route was just down. So I Damn. had to take the bus all the way to the mall, and then, uh, I had to wait for a different bus, and it took like a half hour. And I was just sitting there, and behind me... There was a seagull eating a fucking, like, scrap of a Big Mac from a fucking Big Mac box that someone left on the floor. <laughs> um. Oh. Bro, my sisters... My sisters are in 10th grade right now. Uh, mm. you know, they so they're in a math class right now. Can you guess who their teacher is? Jaculus. Mr. Praxilus. He does math? Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought he only did, uh, computer shit. And I feel bad. <laughs> Cause... <laughs> you, you know Diary of Wimpy Kid Roderick Rules, right? The movie? Yeah. You know the scene at the start where he's, like, going to his new class? And, like, the teacher asks his name. Oh, Greg Heffley? You wouldn't be related to Roderick Heffley, would you? And he looks so disappointed. I, f I felt that coming, like, once they said, Oh, yeah, Mr. Praxkovics is my teacher. I was like, oh, no. Because he hated me. <laughs> Did he know? Um. Oh. But you know what's even funnier? What? My one of my sisters got my math textbook because it, really? it had my name written in it. <laughs> it just says Dan cool. just says Daniel Route in 2018 on the front page. Didn't you um like steal some textbooks? Um. Oh yeah, <laughs> I kind of did. <laughs> we just have all these textbooks. I don't just keep them in my fucking locker because I never. I always forget to like sign, like to write my name on the board, and they're like, "eh, whatever." So they didn't de even know who had the textbook. Little did they know that in some random fucking locker, there was like ten of them, just just chilling. Because they kept them in like an abandoned locker. Oh, well, can you like stop? Also, I still have, like, in my fucking closet, I still have every single, um, every single English book that I had to read for mm. English class. And when I mean every single one, I mean every single one. I have all the Shakespeare ones, I have fucking Macbeth, I have Hamlet, I have, um, The Great Gatsby. Do you have Mice and Men? I don't have Mice and Men, that was the one I didn't get. Damn, yeah, I, I wonder why teachers didn't like me, wow. <laughs> I mean, listen, me hoarding just textbooks for no reason in my fucking locker is not as bad as what Tyler did. <laughs> what did Tyler do? Tyler would keep, like, empty cans and fucking, like, fountain drink cups in his locker for, like, the entire <laughs> year. And, it, <laughs> and I, I just keep that. asking him, 
I'm like, why do you do this? He just said, an experiment. <laughs> experiment. <laughs> That's so bad, is it? <laughs> Bro is trying to create a- Bro. Bro is trying to create a new bacteria. <laughs> Man made COVID. He, he created COVID. It came from that locker. You remember like the portable Ooh. the portable uh, classrooms? They had like a mold problem, and like we well, was, didn't we didn't Tyler. go to school for like a week because of it. Yeah, yeah, it was Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you know what's my favorite fucking uh, my favorite thing somebody ever did in uh, in school? What? You remember Marco? How could I forget Marco, bro? In, uh, in civics class, he, uh, like, over, over, like, our civics class went, like, over the break, right? Over Christmas break. Um, and th uh, the teacher we had, um, the X, the Exley variety, uh, <laughs> had a goldfish, right? Right. <laughs> I think I remember what you were gonna and, say. And, um, so usually over, like, this was like the last day of school, like, all the teachers were leaving. And before, uh, after the teacher left, Marco went back in and turned off the fucking heating <laughs> in, the, in the room, in just that room, and left the window open, too. Like, just slightly open. Left all the windows, like, slightly open so nobody would notice. The day we came back to class... The whole- the fucking fish tank was frozen. <laughs> it was like oh. a popsicle. Marco <laughs> from Metas, bro. <laughs> there was also the time he fucking fed a seagull, or like a bird, and it flew into the bus. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. And it started just making weird noises, and everyone started laughing, and the teacher was going ape shit. <laughs> but I have I told you about the the storm of seagulls? I don't think mm, I've told you. I, I told Tyler because so. Tyler witnessed it. It was in eighth grade, before we went to high school. Um and oh yeah, then I don't know. So we had like it. we had like a barbecue, right? Well, every year at uh, the school, they'd have like a barbecue, and uh, for the barbecue, you would get either a hamburger, hot dog, with um, a bag of like chips and a, a drink. Drink, right? A classic. Um. Now the bag of chips most people got were like the Cheetos, right? Like the puffy Cheetos. Really? Um, Did they yeah. have like burritos? I said Cheetos. But like, they didn't have Doritos there? No, they had Doritos, but like, most people would just get the Cheetos. What? Um... So, That's Mar crazy. So Marco... We were just chilling on the field, because like, we were just eating around like, the... The outs- like the- like the football field, right? Um... Mm -hmm. And this man Marco, he fucking... Fed like a seagull one of his Cheetos, and then another one came. And then another one. And then another one. And then another one. And then we look and it's more people start feeding them. And then we look into the sky and there's like a bunch of them like circling around. It was like birdemic, bro. I'm not kidding you. Ask like Tyler about this, because he was there. There was like 30 seagulls. All swarming. It was like Holy shit. And they all Sounds just fun. And they all started shitting too. Oh, that's not fun. <laughs> they shit on like the teachers' teachers' cars and everything. But like, everyone kept feeding them, and like Mar the barbecue was almost canceled. Mar it was almost canceled because like they just wouldn't leave. Mar. It was so terrifying because they're all circling around and like on the ground, and you just see some of them just watching from like the fucking uh, roof of the school. Like goddamn. Oh, also, I already started the stream. I just needed to tell the the Marco stories. Although I don't know who's what stories are crazy. Are the, are the Marco stories or the Isaiah stories? 
I added the wrong well, thing. Hold on. Isaiah. I was with Isaiah in grade 8, but I don't really remember anything from grade 8. Yeah, bro. Fucking... Are there no more champions? What's happening? Hey, man. Spawn your champions, my guy. Fuck, I'm just gonna... Bro. Why? Um, that's bullshit. The fucking... I, I'll never forget Isaiah in, like, 10th grade art class. I wish I, like, had contact with him. I, I probably could talk to him again through Kyle, because Kyle probably still, like, has him on, like, Snapchat or some shit. Hmm. But, like... Man. Remember when he just oh, kind of... Kind of remember when he kind of just disappeared? And then came back all of a sudden? Yeah. Dude, our class... Is... Was peak high school. He, remember when he locked himself in the fucking, uh... In the, uh, the clay room? <laughs> like, he really? You know how dangerous <laughs> that the, is? It gets so hot! The, oh, the killings in there, bro. The killings, yeah. That's insane. <laughs> he also fucking, he broke the, uh... He, like, jams the, um... Exercise spike that was in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But then there was a time. Then he also set the sink on fire. That's a classic. Yeah. It was like it was like a bonfire. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. See, <laughs> but then there was Logan. But there's a lot of people. This, bro, Farrell, bro. That man, Logan Miller, I'm saying his full government on stream, but I don't really care. Uh, bro, he, in our history class, he he somehow, like, he hit, like, before the teacher came in, our history class was in one of, like, the science lab rooms, right? You know, the, yeah. you know like, the, like, like, the disposal area? Like, the ones that look like a kind of, like, chamber, right? Paper. Yeah, he l fucking locked like locked himself in there to hide from the teacher, and <laughs> it took her like twenty minutes to realize he was in there, even though it was see through glass. <laughs> and she was just chilling there, just like just sitting like cross legged with his hands like together, <laughs> just observing. And like when the teacher uh. When the teacher walked in, walked in and tried to get him out, one of the other students rushed over and tried to turn on the fucking thing. <laughs> it was like a sprinkler, I think. But then there was in his there was he also stole the uh, you know, like the microphone. Yeah. He would always steal the microphone, and he um, <laughs> he started playing like hentai over it. Oh. <laughs> and the teacher couldn't- the teacher gave up. She couldn't find who had it. <laughs> Cause like, we started passing it around at some point. Oh my god. I remember I- I actually got it- well, I actually got it and you know what I did? Uh. I played a recording of the fucking bell. <laughs> I was testing to see if I could leave class early that way. That's smart. Oh, and I'm trying to find a picture. Did it screenshots? Um. Why is it that only humans? But bro, I I swear to fucking god. Um. Science <laughs> class. Science. <laughs> What? What? What's going on here? Bro... Bro, Logan really... <laughs> Bro, Logan said friggin... 
It was, that was literally him in every class I had. I don't have the other picture with his legs crossed. Is that... <laughs> that was literally... Bro, and there was also a science class with Mr. Skolmer. You remember Mr. Skolmer, right? I do not know. He, you know... You know the, uh, like, founder of Steam, Gabe Newell? Like, the Valve founder? Hmm. He looks like that. Oh. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> but, like, man, in that class, you know the Bunsen burners, right? Yeah. Fucking, um... What was his name? God, I'm trying to remember his name now. I can't. Oh shit, 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 shit. The fucking the guy, the guy, the guy, the guy. The guy. The guy, the dude, the fucking Why am I forgetting his name right now? I don't I, I can't remember his name. I think it might he was in like he was in like a group with uh, Kyle Jeans. You remember Kyle Jeans? Oh uh, I think I know you're talking about. He was like fucking. Aiden? Hmm. Not no no no. No, I would have honestly remembered his name. Fucking Christ. Do you not know that I was like best friends with Aiden before high school? You've mentioned it, I think. Yeah. yeah, that's why I can't forget that. But no, it's not him. He used to work at the Domino's near my old house with Kyle Jeans. The fuck was it? God, I can't remember. Ah, uh, well, whatever. In in the class, he uh, he you know what he did with the Bunsen burner? What? You know how it's connected to like a gas pump, like yeah. a gas valve? He maxed it out, <laughs> and then and then lit it with a lighter, not a fucking like actual thing with a lighter. <laughs> And that shit burned to the ceiling. It singed the ceiling. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> that same guy, he he had his like wrist broken in tenth grade science class, right? Yeah. And we were like examining like the cells of like a fucking onion or some shit, right? <laughs> like I'm not joking. That's what we were doing. And you know what he did? What? He fucking. Like, out of nowhere, like, when the teacher wasn't looking, he put, like, picked up his fucking hand, the one that was in, in a cast, right? Like, he picked up his arm that was in a cast, like, his whole hand, and he just fucking smashed it down on the onion, and it went everywhere. <laughs> like, it went across the room, I think it went, like, a chunk went flying to, like, the teacher, too, and it, like, hit the teacher. And then those teachers started screaming. Like he never, he never screamed or anything like that. Like that, but like he lost his mind. He was losing his marbles. He was befuddled. He was bamboozled. He was fucking flabbergasted <laughs> at the fact that someone just blew up an onion in the middle of the fucking class. <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, who did it? Was, was it you? Was it? I'm not. I'm not letting you leave this class until you tell me who it was." And then everyone was just standing there, fucking stone-faced, <laughs> just staring at him. <laughs> and he was like, I'm gonna email all of your parents and figure out who did it. And he emailed everybody. And like, I remember later did that night, really? I remember later that night, I was it? like... I was like, really commit to that? Yeah. Later that That's night, crazy. I was like, playing, like, fucking, I don't know what the fuck I was playing. I think I was playing, like, Earthbound Beginnings on my Wii U. And my dad comes to my room, he's like, uh... I got an email from your teacher, uh, did you smash a full onion in the middle of science class? Oh my god, it's amazing. I'm like, do I look like I can even do that? Because I was like a hundred pounds. <laughs> He's like, yeah, okay. It should have been there. obvious. Like, oh, the guy with the big cast that's heavy? Well, here's the thing. Oh, I might have been him. <laughs> here's the thing, his cast was wet, too. It had like chunks of the onion on there and he didn't notice. That's like... Like... The opposite of what you're supposed to do when you have a cast. <laughs> yeah. Bro. 
there was also, I think I might have told you this, uh, we also, like, examined, like, the cell makeup of, like, Coca-Cola, I think. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck we were doing. But yeah, we had, like, a bottle of Coca-Cola. It was just, like, a brand new bottle. And what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to, like, examine, like, the in inner makings of it. You know what this man fucking Zane did? Oh my god, what? <laughs> he got his, like, tin water bottle from the, uh, from his backpack. Emptied it out and poured all the coke in the fucking water bottle. And started drinking it. It just <laughs> left. <laughs> Bro, that means Zane was wild. That science class, it was the first class in the morning. It was like it was eight o'clock, ass early. That man showed up with a fucking like a fucking whole bottle of Blue Fago. He just started drinking it at eight in the morning. <laughs> Bro. Like, that was Wasn't funny. your religion class crazy with Danny P? Oh, bro, my religion class with Danny P? Okay, this was like right. Uh, I don't. I don't remember if it was grade ten religion or grade eleven. I think it was grade eleven. Yeah, it, it was eleven. Okay, yeah. so this was after the uh, the rivalry. <laughs> the rivalry. The rivalry. Arc. Yeah. <laughs> what? With who? <laughs> with Daddy P. Oh, do I, right, have, right, right, do right. I have to tell this? I'm gonna tell this story from scratch now. Fuck Bro, Christ. I forgot he like hated you. Bro, so like, I don't even know how to explain it. He can't even explain it. I think it was just us being really like stupid, like just being full autistic. Cause like, cause like in grade nine we met like in our first class and we became friends with Adam. And then like, in grade ten he was like, no, fuck you. I am the true dead. <laughs> yeah. And he was really spite he was really spiteful. It actually pissed me off. He <laughs> apologized for it after, don't worry. It's all good now. I don't even think about that anymore. But like, man, it was Bro. <laughs> we were just there could only be one. We were just bullying each other. We were trying to one up each other. And I was like Fucking bro. But like, um... So, I don't know why. I don't know why that happened. It's just like... <laughs> every time I try to talk to him, he would just say, Fuck you. In the exact same tone he says it now. <laughs> <laughs> but like, there's a difference. There's a difference when he says fuck you to me now. From back then. You could tell. That was like such a great friend, I know. <laughs> but I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. The the, the shift, because like it went from, from like acquaintances to rivalry, like bitter fucking rivalry, to like, oh you you play TF2, fuck it, and now we're best friends. <laughs> and now. Like, fucking Christ. And, and the, like, it's gotten to the point where, like, yeah, I just casually got you a better paying job than I have. Shit. But yeah, anyway. Uh, let's, let's play the fucking... Let's, it's been 20 minutes since the stream's... 23 minutes since the stream started. Let's actually play this. I got too held up about talking about shit. Okay. Oh. I'm an idiot, Tycho. Oh my god, I could have been doing this instead. Stop playing Destiny then. That sucks. So what, I need barrier on stop, baby. You should go play, uh... You should go play some, um... Some Mario Party Superstars instead. Uh... Your Switch is probably, like, super dead right now, so... <laughs> no, it... Yeah, I think it is dead, actually. <laughs> Bro, your Switch is, like, dusty. It's probably dustier than my Wii U. Well, freaking, when are you gonna freaking do, a uh, another stream Mario Kart? Uh, eventually. See, that's the exact same thing I say with my Switch. Eventually. Eventually, I'll play it. It's not even my Switch. My uncles. 
<laughs> Did your uncle play it? I don't think no. your uncle has played it once. It's the, that's the fun part. Yeah, he... Wait, what? It causes damage of the grenade. Uh... Alright. Oh, wow. So this um, man... Oh, so this fucking good. prosecutor in this game... He actually just went, okay, time to investigate Reddit. <laughs> this super serious dude. Oh. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> I'm not! I think I'm starting to get some of this internet stuff! Okay. <laughs> they talked to you yesterday, you just can't get catch. I can't come on. I just think I'm here. Oh yeah, I just can't go here. Is that how we do it? Is that how we do it in those animes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, your honor. Can't imagine a website's administrator is much different from any other administrator. It shouldn't be too hard to grasp that concept. Your honor, if you don't mind, I'd like to avoid any potential distractions and begin the trial. That sounds like a good idea! Shall we bring in your witness? Certainly. The administrator will be speaking for us today and can give evidence and testimony for Bixter Book's guilt. Why don't you introduce him to us? Alright. Is he acting strange? Yes, because the witness is the fucking Weeaboo guy. He's the awesome Weeaboo guy, bro. My favorite character. Oh, this is not gonna work out, huh? Isn't he always kinda tense? Just seeing things? It's odd, though. He doesn't seem as assertive Boy, as he yeah. usually does. Yesterday's trial must have really shaken him up. Bro. This guy is like... This guy is like Discord... He's like Discord mod fucking incarnate. Just read the screen. Look, just read... Look, look at the screen. Look at the screen, bro. Hold on, I need to open your... Screen... Look at the fucking screen, bro. Bro. He, he didn't even dress for the court. He didn't even clean the sh fucking shirt. It's not even a shirt, that's an undershirt. Fucking Christ. You man got the, the Wolverine drip. My god, bro. Fucking bear hugger from Punch Out. Like. <laughs> now in English. Such ethnocentrism. Says the fucking person who is, like, making an ass out of himself speaking fake Japanese. Okay. We're not continuing this trial until you introduce yourself in a way that everybody here will understand. I am Anton Sims, site administrator for fan club. It's bro, my duty I'm to make sure. What am I doing, bro? See, just get off of uh, Destiny, then your life will be 200% happier. No, it's fine. Ooh, I could use Anna. Nah, should I? Not as happy as he would be not playing uh, Dokkan Battle. See, it's, it's like, top 10 ways to stop depression. Number one, doctors hate it. Let's get off of Dokkan Battle. <laughs> Where's my phone? Alright, it looks like a convention. It's edited. It's an edited Discord DM, bro. Didn't realize Wait, right away show, that it was. Can can you show the the Dr Pepper on stream? Yes, sure. It. I'll show the Dr Pepper. It's diet Dr Pepper. Look at this. I'm I don't like holding up things to my like especially drinks and food to my camera because I feel like I'm about to have like a fucking um. Uh, what's that one streamer? Fuck. Oh, Tyler one. Tyler, I feel like I'm about to have a Tyler <laughs> one moment. <laughs> And spill, it all over, John, and spill it all over my fucking keyboard and break my whole setup. But I love that clip so much. He's in such shock. I'll keep I'll keep the Dr. Pepper slightly in frame. Okay. Yeah, no, anarchy is not the way to go. It is not strong enough. 
Did you hear? About the prosecutor who you... whose dad died in the DL6, isn't it? Did you No, I did not. <laughs> okay. Sorry that I keep cutting out. Uh The prosecution requested Mr. Sims' house in case in the case and gave it. This guy isn't helping anybody but himself. This court requests fuck. Requests that you testify about the new evidence you've given. I will do whatever it takes for you to uncover the truth. As will I. Alright, now you can finally hear the new um the music I got for the cross examination. It's actually the music for um uh, Ace Attorney Five. It takes a little bit of time to get on because it's like a loop. Unless I fucked up. Did I fuck up? Why is the music not playing? You might have. And let me check the game files. It should work, because I, I, I'm pretty sure I got it to work before. Like, what, fi what file is it? It's an OGG file. It should work. I'll just play the music if it's as if it's playing. Alright, Mass Noob was admitted uh, to the crime on my site. The message was posted at 3.50, which I believe was around the time of the murder. As you can see, this confession links directly to the flame war earlier. The motive and opportunity are both very clear. Your client is guilty. With this confession, I don't believe it'll be hard to establish the defendant's guilt. Alright, before we begin, I have a question. What exactly is a screen cap? <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to picture how that would work. It's just a picture I took from my computer, nothing special. It's not an actual cap that you put on the computer, Your Honor. Oh, well, it did have me a little confused there. Now that we have it out of the way, right cross-examination. Let's hope the music actually plays this time. Please? Please? Maybe it'll it'll work if I like save and load. Hold on. What have I done? What have you done? Why is the music not working? Uh uh <laughs> Hmm. Is it maybe blocked? No link levels! Well, I'm really playing Dokkan and Destiny at the same time. Yeah, I might have fucked up the music by <laughs> editing all this. Everything else works, though. Um, Hold on, I'm going to try resetting the game. Ooh, I leveled up. I might have fucked up. I might have fucked up the whole thing. Is that Phoenix right? Nosferatu. <laughs> okay. Bro, it doesn't... Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Do I really have to go into the fucking game files for this? Did I really fuck it up that stream. bad? Do it on stream! No. Why? You scared? He's scared, guys. Who's in- who's watching in chat? Who's in chat today? It might be...
Might be because I don't have a fucking... Oh, that might be why. Unless it's like, not set to the right thing. I think I reloaded it, yeah. Tu sabe, tu sabe. Oh, it doesn't have a .ogg on it, okay, that's why. Oh, it's actually a game file thing. <laughs> That might work. No, that's weird. Is it tracking on the quest? It is. See. Well, look at those stats. We got double hundred and recovery. Bro, I'm so good at the game. It's probably not a good idea to be altering the fucking files while I'm t doing this. I think it's a very good idea. In my professional opinion, it is a it's, good idea. It is such a good idea. Wow, well, yeah, it is. Where is he? There he is. Damn! Wait, why do I not have ammo? What happened? I have no ammo. This is master, right? Oh, this wasn't oh the right one. God. Oh yeah, it's because it's not set to OGG. What the fuck? Why is it not set to OGG? It should be set to OGG. It said Ugg. Bro, it's not. It doesn't want to work right now, well. When was this fan game made? Uh, like 2012. Oh, wow. It's pretty good. It's being very temperamental right now. Um, hold on. Try reloading. Because here's the thing, right? I loaded up, like, other files from, like, different cases, and it was working per perfectly fine. It's just this case that's being weird with it. Because, like, if I go to case one, and I go to, like, one of my early saves... Oh god, here's this ugly ass fucking sprite. Oh my god. See, like, now it's working. Like, I don't know why it works perfectly fine here. Yeah, all oh of these god, work. The flinch. I load it up. I can load it up. <sighs> I could just play the music over it if it's maybe just like a one-time thing that's not working, but... It is a little bit annoying. Wait, there was a, there was a settings. Hold on, there was a settings. Is there something I could do in the set settings? Sound? Drink that Dr. Pepper. Debug Drink mode? It. I don't- I don't think Drink I wanna it. fuck with debug mode. Okay. Drink it the Dr. Pepper. Shut the fuck up, your dad. Wait, am I in master? I am in- okay.
Yeah, I don't know why the music is being fucking stupid, but okay. Like everything maybe else. Maybe you should um. Maybe I should. I should. I should what? I should what exactly? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna just play the fucking actual music over it in the background. That's the best I can do. There we go. So this man was a middle on the, on the uh, site? Okay. Why do you keep referring to him as a mask than noob? That's the only way I've ever known him. It seems weird calling him by his real name. Well, if it was just mask noob you saw posting that maybe somebody wrote it. Or somebody else wrote it. Anybody can use a computer. Do you want to take a guess as to why it's not likely in this case? Uh, maybe? The message was posted from his home. That's in a different part of town. Doesn't matter. At the time of the night, the roads would be clear enough that he would kill the victim, okay. Okay. And return home all within the time frame. Assuming he broke a few traffic laws in the process, of course. How do you know where he wrote the message? Site's IP log, okay. The name Masnub has been used in the same location each time, his apartment. This technology stuff isn't as hard as I thought it was. Anyways, because he was asked access from the same place, there's no reason to suspect anybody but Mr. Books. Only that IP log showed when people signed off. This would be so much easier. I mean, you could just leave your computer open. It does fall within range given by the autopsy. See, it makes perfect sense. Can't really argue with this one. The message was definitely posted at that time, and the murder happened then too. Gonna have to prove Sims. I'm gonna have to prove Sims wrong either way. Okay. Seven. It's perfect. A bit too perfect, if you ask me. Okay. Don't I have the music set on loop? There we go, okay, fucking Christ. Oh, that was scaring me for a second, I thought even my fucking PC broke. Shit, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Forgot to load up the, um... The walkthrough too. Just in case. Everything seems to be going back to that, doesn't it? Well, it is the catalyst for this case. After yesterday, I'm not so sure about that anymore. Could you explain your thinking to me a bit more? Well, it's rather simple. They conspired to kill him, and then later mass noobs... Uh, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it! <laughs> I don't think the others were being serious. Does it give a very clear motive for him? It does? I believe that is very clear. Why don't we talk about that, then? Motive and opportunity are both very clear. So there in your chat bot, you saw a chance to become infamous throughout the internet and he took it. Why would anybody do that? Who would want to become famous with people who don't even know who you are? And he couldn't ever admit to it. There would be no recognition at all. It's ridiculous, isn't it? A ridiculous motive for a ridiculous case. Besides, he was already on bad terms with the victim. You might say there were multiple motives. Hmm. What about the opportunity? So you already know, he doesn't have an alibi. Guess I knew that. But how'd you? I, uh... You said you didn't go into the trial the other day. Did he ever mention that part to him, Williamson? No. Oh, Mr. Sims? Uh... I'll have it open, I better take it. Mr. Sims, I'd like you to update your testimony. It's clear that he has no alibi for this crime. Could you explain again how you knew that? Uh, Mr. Sims, you're already making yourself look bad here. Can you just tell us? 
One of the other users told me? That's right. One of our users was at the trial yesterday and he posted about it online. That's not what happened at all. I could just tell by looking at his posture. This guy's really bad at lying. Did you notice it too, Nick? Okay, this guy couldn't hide a needle in a haystack, much less a lie. It's clearly not, not one of the more cunning people we've been up against. Train. Train. I have a train to catch. You know there's a there's an Ace Attorney case that takes place on a train? Really? It's only in the <laughs> anime, though. Hmm. So it's an alright uh, case. It's clear that uh, he is... Uh, Detective Bad owns a train. Detective Bad? That is, that's how he the bad like, train. moves around. The Bad Train? That That's his form of transportation. <laughs> he owns a train. He has no alibi for this crime. Oh. I mean, yeah, the IP log won't tell us much. Jesus Christ. Man, I like how we just double. we just straight up have IP addresses. Assuming we have to post a 500 topic, because, and we know it's fake, right? There we go. Oh wait, hold on, I gotta turn off the music. Shit. <laughs> I got it right, I have to turn off that music. Fuck, here we go. I'd like to thank you, Mr. Sims. You've given my client an alibi. See, now the music works, like shit. That 500 topic you showed me yesterday? There were several people I spoke to about it, and they all agreed on something. And that's that my client was most definitely a part of that conversation. He was busy trying to get the final post of that topic. That would have taken up a good chunk of his night. Uh, do you really think that counts as an alibi? In this case, it might. In this case, it might. The IP log or the screen cap? We gotta present one of these things. I think it's screen cap. Nope. I think it's the IP log then. Yeah, there we go. According to the site's log, Mr. Book has never signed on from anywhere from his home computer. I believe that Williamson brought this up earlier. If he didn't even post that message, it was from his apartment. Clear across the city. It still doesn't qualify as an alibi. You've even admitted yourself that we have no way of knowing it's Mr. Books. Bro, what is this fucking theme song, bro? <laughs> like, I feel like it should be marching to this fucking song. I feel like it should be getting up and just, like, start fucking, like... Like, shit, bro. <laughs> like, my god. This man has the whole final boss theme as his theme song, like, shh. Okay. I think he got somebody else to put us in Creed Alibi for himself. Didn't say that, but it's nice to see you're admitting the possibility. I, uh, that's conjecture, your honor. I believe you're the one who brought it up, Mr. Wright. Support this theory that Mr. Books conspired with somebody he trusted to post that message. I walked right into that one. I'm gonna need something more solid to beat this guy. This confession is going to be at the end of my case. It's, or this confession is going to be the end of my case, it's airtight. Although, doesn't that seem a little weird? Remember what Pure Madness told us yesterday? I and mean, it's lying to you. Everybody who was there can tell you that bad player posted himself. Yeah, I do. It's been bugging me for a while. How did they get a picture of Mr. Books posting it when it was somebody else? Can't we like call these people to witness, like to testify that, like, um, that he didn't get that post, that that post never happened? It's a bit risky, but the only route we could take. Mr. Williamson, I have a problem with his screen cap of yours. It's the man's attorney, I imagine you would. 
This goes beyond it just proving him guilty. I mean, there's something really wrong with it. That evidence has been forged. What? How dare you? You of all people are going to try to accuse me of that? I have a witness who can testify that- Yes! Let's fucking go! I am a genius! I'm a genius, no. No, I am a- I am a god. I am a fucking god. I have Phoenix Wright, look at this. Look at me. Haha. <laughs> Alright, let's- Hope that she isn't gonna fucking- Lie again. Well, actually, you believe her after that? I promise you, nobody else in this courtroom will. I will not accept further testimony from her. Oh, damn it. Okay. You are making a very serious accusation against the prosecution. Why, well, it shall prove that the picture has been forged. Proof? I mean, the fact that. Yeah, the fact that this was after. This, is, this might be proof, because, like. This is 3.49, and this is 3.50 a.m. I think... I think this should be proof enough. The proof is in the picture itself. If you look closely, something is off. What part of it is suspicious? Fucking time? Look at the times posted here. Posts are going in reverse order. So many sites give the option to decide what order you view things in. Perhaps Mr. Sims just has account, his account set up differently. Uh, okay. Might accept that I've worn the fact that this whole section looks rather iffy. If you look closely, you can see that the area around the timestamp is a different color. Is that true? It is, yeah it is. Look at that, it's a whole different shade. Then the lines are a bit blurred as well. The pixels are all wrong. Oh, you're right, why, why is that? Because somebody copied and pasted that part onto there. The timestamp and username come from a different part of the site. It wasn't Mr. Books who said that. Pixels? You're getting upset over a few pixels? I am. I'm a speedrunner after all. <laughs> I gotta be pixel perfect. I don't believe for a second that that post was made by my client. The IP log doesn't show the log off times. You can't... I can't prove it? Maybe not. But this chart isn't the only way to find out things. I'm sure Mr. Books' internet provider would do a fine job telling us if you lost power. Just look at the witness. You can see just how keen he is on that idea. Mr. Sims? This... this isn't what it looks like. Williamson! I hope you have a good explanation for this! You know how I feel about forgeries! Your Honor, I would never. Hold on, Your Honor. I believe him. You do? It wouldn't be like you to do something like that. I never claimed you were the one who made it. Well then, who did? Had to have been fucking fat ass over here. Fucking weeaboo man fucking Hulk Hogan. It was our witness, the one who gave the evidence in the first place. Anted Sims. Couldn't do this to you. You clearly did. Mr. Sims, you're the one who presented the evidence. You were the one who gave... The gave it to the prosecution when asked. You were in the perfect position to manipulate it to your liking. And out of everybody on AF, you are the only one claiming that Mass New made that comment. Let's see you give an excuse for that. We got his ass. Mr. Sims, did you forge that picture? Uh, 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 uh. I I did it. If the defendant didn't write that, then who did? It was bad player, Judge, the victim. This is a serious crime, and you will certainly be punished for it later. I'll be certain of that. My god, this fucking guy's dialogue, man, I can't take it. Perhaps you would like to explain your actions. No, I would not. Whether it's here or in a police interrogation, I'm gonna drag this out of you. You nearly just cost me my job. I know my rights. You can't force me to testify about something that would incriminate me. So you're admitting your guilt? This guy really doesn't want to talk about this. That shouldn't matter. The prosecution is once again left without a case. With no witness and no decisive evidence, the rest of this trial should be a walk in the park. Meanwhile, five more testimonies. <laughs> walk in the park, huh? The case goes on for two more hours.
Very well. The witness will submit himself to the police and will have his own trial later, later date. Your Honor, it doesn't look like either of us have anything more to say. Why don't we just let the jurists make their decision? Perhaps, Mr. Williamson? No objections. Very well. No conclusive proof has been given. I will hand things over to- Wait! Judge, I changed my mind. I'll tell you anything you want. I'll do it. I'll tell you why I made up that screenshot. Defense? Prosecution? What are your thoughts on this? As long as we're getting answers, I'm fine. I know this guy's gonna be lying some more. And where there's a lie, there's a contradiction. The defense will accept further testimony. Okay. So what the fuck is this guy even gonna say now? Like, he's lost all cred credibility. Okay, let's see. Let's hope the music actually works this time. Is the music just fucked? Is is that what's going? I think that might be what's going on. Cause like it's not, it does not want to play. But it should work, cause it's named the same thing in the fucking. Eh. Yeah, I have no clue why it's not playing. Okay, well, I'll have to just fucking... Play this over again, okay. And that should be fine. He's still the killer. He may have forced me into covering to him. Okay. That's always the plan that I would take the fall here. I can't lie for him anymore, he's the obvious culprit. Isn't it strange? Just moments ago, you were refusing to testify. Now you're begging for another chance? Why is that? Does it matter? At least he's talking. Perhaps I spoke too soon. Don't believe this guy is the real villain. He's too much of a coward. However, he's definitely hiding something. Now for me to reveal it. Maybe it'll work now? Maybe? Bro, it does not want to work. He's still the killer. What evidence do you have to prove this? I swear to you that it was him. After what you've done, your testimony hardly means anything. Didn't have a choice. Let me explain. May have forced me into covering for- May? May have. Tell us, didn't he or did he? He did. He seemed very unsure of that. Very sure. You're stuttering an awful lot for someone to be so sure. Am I? Must be a nervous habit of his. Well, at least it's not something gross like sweaty armpits. That would just be nasty. Before we continue, I'm going to want a more confident answer out of you. Alright. Did it. Mastu forced me to do it. Okay. That's a full lie, but eh? That sounds better. Could you expand on this? He, he threatened me. Told me if I didn't cover for him that he would... He threatened me. Did you just cut yourself off there? Are we going to say something? No. Mr. Sims, you can't hold anything back from us. I find the specifics to this be rather, or, uh, rather irrelevant. What the threats were is less important, that's why. Because he wanted to not guilty. Scared you into doing that? He isn't the least bit intimidating. Says you. Have you even taken a look at the guy? A seemingly naive and innocent man who is actually a crazy sociopath. I'm sure none of us here have ever taken a case with somebody like that. Oh, that's not true, Mr. Williamson. I know Mr. Wright did one time. Uh. 
Thank you for pointing that one out, Your Honor. That is a reference to something that I can't say because Ron is in this call, and I don't want to dis spoil you. But mm. hey, always, it was always in the plan that I would take a fall here. You willing, willingly go along with something like that. She forced me to do it. Covered the fact that he was forced into it. No need to go over it again. Did he catch that? Okay, it sounds like he was about to say they instead of he. I have a feeling I know who that they might have been. Maybe I missed just this guy. Could you explain what you mean when you say you were the, meant to take the fall? He wanted to manip manipulate the jurist system. When my picture was proven to be a forgery, it would look bad on the prosecution. He'd appear to be a victim and they'd synthesize, synthesize, yes, they would fuse with him. Sure. Suppose that's one potential flaw. Rather have, you'd rather have us go back to the old way? Did I say that? No, not exactly. Jump into conclusions as always. May continue. Bitch be like, I like pancakes so you hate waffles, like. <laughs> Can't lie for any more, he's the obvious culprit. Proved he had an alibi. And we've explained how many may have been poor fabricated. You mean like everything this man has said? Please. He made me do it. I forged a screenshot and nothing else, I promise. Uh, now that I think about it, there may be a way to get this guy to talk. It'll take a bit of bluffing, and I might feel guilty about this later. I feel like he's probably being threatened and threatened by like the FBI or some shit into doing this. I don't know. That'd be funny. Alright, the next part might take a bit of bluffing, but it's the only way I can get through this. Forced me into covering for him. It's always in the plan that I would take the fall here. Always in the plan that he'd take the fall here. I think that's the one I gotta click on. Don't think this is gonna come around. But what could I even, like, put on here? That's the thing. Alright, there's three things I want to post. First up is going to be this. Nope. Next up, family thing. Nope. Probably not the PM conversation, though. Is there an IP log for him? No, it stayed the same the whole time. Always in the plan that I would take the fall here. I want to press this again just to reread it. Wasn't willingly that. Maybe it's the fourth one I have to. Can't lie for him anymore, he's the obvious culprit. Mm, I don't know about that. Hmm, well what the fuck would I even use here? That's the thing. I mean, I want to present this, like, I feel like I should. But I don't think it's going to come up until later. And he said to bluff, so, like... Yeah, I don't know. FBI agent, let's go. No. Fuck, what do I use? 
he's the obvious call for it. Is he though? So it said, okay. So he read the last one, they mentioned how he almost said they threatens me to take the fall. The wording is interesting, taking the fall, right? And now he's saying yeah. he's the obvious culprit. Now, we know he's probably not, this guy's not the killer. But we can kind of bluff to get some information out of him. Is there a cake stall? So let's try presenting his profile. There we go, okay, that works. Uh, Only take our list of users and narrow things down. Our witness from yesterday was 3,000 3, feet in the air. We learned yesterday that she uses multiple accounts. Two of those appeared in the flame war. We could cross off both. Okay. Bad player being the victim can be ruled out. Samurai Justice and Strange Love never participated in the flame war. That was truly the catalyst as he claimed they couldn't be involved. So going by your own logic, we could exclu exclude them. This leaves Mass Noob and... And? Why is the mouse not working? Ah! Funny, isn't it? Isn't that your username? Mr. Sims, if you are going to accept that things will happen the way you say they did, then it looks like you two are a suspect. With all you've done to lead us off track today, I'd say that makes you a very suspicious. You killed Black Player, didn't you? Mr. Sims, is this true? No, no, I didn't do it. Oh my god, bro. You have a lot to answer for. Please believe me. I, uh, didn't want any of this. They made me do it. Who did? I, I can't tell you. They won't let me. They've been forcing me to cooperate. They told me that if I, if I didn't, they would kill my mother. The Rafalis family has to be them. Please, I didn't kill anyone. I just had to save my mother. That's why you forced the screenshot? That other man, they wanted me to cover for you. He posted my site on my site all the time. I know about it, but they wouldn't let me do anything. And after the murder, I was told to keep people on boards from talking about it. Otherwise, they might start figuring things out. This man, who is he? I, I, I... I don't think he's going to say anymore, it'll have to be me. This is the user the family wanted to come wanted to cover for. This is the only one I could think of. Yeah. Stranger to love, he's a poster on your site. I always see him on, but he never says anything. Maybe he has some other kind of agenda. Like using your site to coordinate his actions? So any user who doesn't write is who doesn't write much is a psychotic killer? Okay. This person's been <laughs> Okay, he says, okay. Uh Mr. Sims, you have full access to everything on AF. Okay, then maybe you can get us on this account. If anything shady's going on, you can find it right away. We don't have a warrant, wouldn't be, be invasion of privacy? Not at all. As an owner of a site, the witness would be able to grant us full access. All we need is this okay. Well, Mr. Sims, what do you think? Log us, log us into Stranger to Love and we can sell this. Sims can't help you there. Oh, here comes FBI agent, man. That reaction. Mr. Sims is cl clearly terrified of this man. Have they met? The account Stranger to Love was deleted last night. It no longer exists. It was deleted? What happened? And who are you? I'm the man running this case. As for your other questions, it appears the family got to it. They realized they were about to be caught and rushed to erase all evidence. This is what I get for letting you all tamper with my case. Are there any backups for the information? No, they forced Sims to delete everything related to that account. It's as if it never existed. Isn't that right, Sims? So he, th that man got rid of all the receipts. What are you doing here, Togamara? Shouldn't you be at the, your crime scene?
so he's merging those cases? What the fuck? What I didn't. Judge, I will testify. As the lead man here, I can give a full account of what happened, or full accounting of what happened. I, or I, I, I can't read. All right, can you please play the music this time? That'd be nice. Bro, <laughs> please play the music. I don't know why it's not working. It might just be on this case, honestly. But that's why I got the music in the background. Okay, even the music doesn't want to work right now. What the fuck? <sighs> I hate everything. There we go. Sims was in on it too, they bullied him into cooperating, okay. Then Books betrayed his partner and killed him. He's supposed to out his supposed alibi it was pre-arranged for him forged. Okay, so you're saying. Now just a minute. I still don't quite understand who you are. I'm Agent Togamera from the Federal Bureau. Ah, oh, so you're an FBI agent, okay. I am. I've been tasked with uncovering the crimes of both the victim and his accomplice. The search has proven very fruitful. My testimony here should be enough to convict books. Then I could finally bring my case to a close. Our case. Right, Williamson? Ah, <sighs> these two don't seem to play well together. Well, he did kick him off for his own, his own crime scene. Just drop it and cross-examine him already. Bitter much? Okay. Okay, it's so annoying to have to fucking play the music in the background, goddamn. Women books were both working with the family. Okay. Client isn't working with those people. Did this innocent fanboy act fool you? It has to many. Just accept the fact that you barely know the man. You met him two days ago. I thought you were investigating Webb, not Mr. Books. My goal has always been to find Webb's allies, and I have done that. Now I only wish to see him put away for good. Don't care what your case has turned up, I'm not letting that happen. Except for coronated actions? How do you know that? Sims confessed to me that he was been harboring criminals on his site. Mr. Sims confessed to you? When did you have a chance to talk to him? I've known of his involvement since before you knew even knew he existed. Do not underestimate me. You have some nerve mocking me in this courtroom. Will you, uh, will you two please stop bickering? What, I don't have the right to point out your own hypocrisy? Is there something you wish to say, right? Yes, you say your mission was more or less over, right? Just a few moments ago, you said you'd accomplish your goal of finding Bob's allies. Maybe now you wouldn't mind discussing what you found? So this man doesn't want to talk about shit because he did it, he did everything, it's all the FBI's fault. He committed 9-11. We'll be back. Okay. Uh, what was this? I will give you a limited selection of my data. Well, had a bad player in books as Stranger to Love. There's no way Mr. Books is Stranger to Love. I assure you my information is accurate. What proof do you have of this? The testimony of Mr. Sims, and my own of course. Unfortunately, the family disabled the account so I can't prove anything more directly. I would tend to agree that the testimony of two separate people is rather compelling. Isn't right, I can think of more than one thing that contradicts this. Sims was in on it too, they bullied him into cooperating. I didn't say the family intimidated him, so you understand that your client is guilty. Never said that. This guy's being a dickhead, wow. Well, then Books betrayed his partner and killed him. Well, how would he do that? Simple, Webb was plotting to betray them himself. And Darius wouldn't have that, so he ordered Books to kill his own friend. As you can see, 
He has shown where his true loyalties lie. Why do you know the name of this person? Yes, Williamson. You heard correctly. What was that? These two seem to know something that I don't. Hmm. Interesting. It's pre-arranged for him, forged. His alibi, you mean the 500 topic? Exactly, his friends. Those were Valley's feeds. They arranged to have somebody at his apartment posting under his username. That's similar to what we already discussed. You see, Williamson, I was right all along. What? This is the first I've ever heard of you mention it. Don't you think that Williamson would have mentioned it by now? Yeah, I mean... Federal case maybe he wasn't allowed to know. But he didn't know about that, so I... He's fed up with it. Okay, so... Pretty sure this one has problems with it. Because he spoke to him. Right? Because we spoke to him, so that couldn't, can't be books. Oh, the music actually ended perfectly. Wow. Mr. Books couldn't possibly be stranger to love. It's been active even after he was incarcerated. I didn't want to say this, but I believe that I must. That? That was me. You? I had to use the account as the only way to complete the mission. I broke into it. Books wasn't supposed to find out, and then he could take it. I mean, the account was probably yours to begin with. Must be very skilled with computers to do that. No, Your Honor, that was child's play. Oh, I see. In any case, this court accepts your explanation. Please continue. He had access to Stranger to Love? That was him yesterday. He was the one threatening us. It was. But I don't see how we can use it. He was aggressive, but didn't say anything too incriminating. As the account's gone, we can't use it as evidence. This guy's a real slime bag. What's his deal? It does bring up several questions. If it wasn't his account, there wasn't any reason for him to confront us. Unless... I wonder. It's probably his account, right? For like... For Christ's sake. Okay, now the music's fucking up again. Oh my god. Oh my god. So what do we do now that we know that? Maybe he has new testimony here? Okay, he doesn't have new testimony. Maybe we can bring out new testimony now. Let's see if he has anything new, new to say. More than one thing that contradicts this. Oh, maybe the IP log, hold on. Because, uh... It would say that it would be from his IP, right? Yeah, it was from a bunch of different IP addresses, look at that. And... None of them match that. Actually, one of them does, does it? Is that the same IP? It's not the same IP, because that one has a 9 at the end of it. There we go. Your Honor, take a look at the chart. I think I found something that contradicts this statement. What am I looking for? You can notice here that every single one of Mass News posts is made from the same computer. Yet Strange to Love's posts come from different places each time. Not one of those is from Mr. Books' apartment. You just present something so unnoteworthy. It's obvious what the problem is here. All the books need to do is use a different connection. Simple. Wouldn't that be a hassle using a new computer every single time you log on? It was necessary to keep his cover. And also, it wouldn't be nearly as complicated as you think. There are other means of accessing the internet. Oh yeah, like phones, yep. Okay, fuck Christ. Oh yeah, he was using a phone, wasn't it? 
They use the sight to coordinate their actions. H. You're back. Oh, you know what's tonight? What? Frickin' Andor. Andor. I'm gonna watch it tomorrow, because I gotta work tomorrow, so... I ain't staying up for that. Hopefully I can finish this before you go to bed. So do I have to keep, like, pressing this one? Or not that one? Folks head straight to the love. So we already presented the profile, presented the IP log. What else could we use? Users are only one- okay. Only permitted to have one account, maybe that's it. Hey. Look at that. Would you look- please look here. It says in the site rules that people are prohibited from having multiple accounts. So? My client is master noob, he couldn't be stranger to love. I agree with Togamera, so? I'm willing to bet he's not the first to break that rule. Nor will I be the last, or he be the last. It would be hard to fool Sims. All he'd have to do is register the account with a different computer, and that's exactly what he did. Going to sign with the prosecution again! Bro, this guy is not giving up, wow. That was rather iffy. There'll seem to be less rules and more. Well, guidelines. And actually, we did learn something very important from this. What's that? He knew Stranger Log res registered on a different computer. Togamera has access to the Ace Fan Club's IP log. Seems you have answers for everything Mr. Wright has given. Yes, I do. My search has been very productive. I believe this is a sufficient explanation. I don't, Your Honor. You don't? You don't? Of course not. Took a mirror, you've given a possible explanation for everything that has happened. Yet you haven't given any proof of it. You will show us some or the prosecution will not support the testimony. Williamson, need I remind you that my word overrules your own? Perhaps outside the courtroom. But you're in here now and you will play by our rules. You can't claim to have done an investigation and then show nothing from it. And don't give me this federal case stuff. Your investigation is over. There's no reason for you to not tell us anything worthwhile. Especially if you want to convict a man of murder. Well? Perhaps there was a few details I could find f that I could have been filled in. Let's hear some more. The prosecution wants testimony on how the agent tracked the suspect. Not really on why. I see. Well, you should just sit, sit up to this guy and won. Yeah, I mean, makes sense. He's using courtroom logic here. God, the music really doesn't want to play. Wow. Huh. Alright, Stranger to Love was books his account on Ace Fan Club. He was the one of Webb's underlings, a henchman you could call him. He's not quite as smart as Webb was. He left a trail online. I didn't write to him. There was even a witness who reported seeing him. However, I'll admit that I haven't to thank, I haven't to thank for bringing my case to a close. I was explanation of more of him just stroking his ego, and stroking his. <laughs> well, that wasn't much better. If you are not satisfied with my work, perhaps you could do it better. Oh, that's right, Williamson. Your case was over before I got here. Never mind that. Right before begin the process examination. Okay. Ooh. This book says account an Ace Fan Club. Okay. This is a pretty short testimony, too. It's rather interesting this, to note that Stranger to Love was never used twice from the same location. We already covered this in the last testimony. I don't think this will teach us anything new. One of Webb's underlings, a henchman you could call him. How do you know that? If I divulge how, the Rivalis group may evade us in the future. Webb was high ranking in the, in the family. It's only reasonable to assume that Books is lower than him. You can't tell us? That's what this whole testimony is for. 
if I tell you that my methods will be revealed. They'll all know. Medeiros himself might escape me. So now your mission is to arrest the entire Rivalis family? You better be a darn good agent to be something like something like that. This whole testimony is being given so they can tell us more details. How did you know that Mr. Books was involved in the Rivalis family? It doesn't matter. I don't believe your client was ever charged with this. If the police deem it necessary in the future, they could do so. Until then, you should only be concerned whether or not he killed the victim. Doesn't matter. This is the whole motive. That remains to be seen. Personally, I'm much more interested in your ac accusation of Stranger to Love. Togamera claims the account belonged to Books. Why don't we focus on that? Now, moving on. He's not quite as smart as Webb was. He left the trail online. Okay. Online? Yes, I was able to track his movements. It was obvious. Didn't Webb leave evidence too? I mean, you had enough to suspect him. Not at all. The two aren't even remotely on the same level. Webb never left anything strong enough for a conviction. That's precisely why it took me so long to apprehend him. He never did apprehend him, he's dead. That wouldn't be the case if I had the chance. Unfortunately for him, his partner turned on him. Now I have a corpse rather than a prisoner. Fair enough. While we're on the subject, could you tell us on how you knew my client was the killer? It was the site's IP chart. You can see here that Strange to Love was active roughly the same time that Webb was shot. I traced him to this very street. It was an open signal, the neighbors didn't have a password protected. Never proved it was his account, you just said it was. Books was there and he killed, Miss and killed Webb. Combine that with what I said, okay. Yes, I saw it, here's my chance. Even a witness who reported seeing him. Now just a minute, that woman didn't see anything. If you knew anything at all about this case, it would be that. Yes, it would be hard to forget something like that. Agent, I do hope you aren't using your testimony to support your theory. Not at all, Judge. I don't believe I ever mentioned her. I'm fully aware that she proved useless. I was referring to the other witness. The other witness. However, I'll admit that I haven't to thank for bringing my case to a close. Why is that? If it hadn't been for this, I might never connected Webb to his family contacts. Book's slip-ups might have given me the opportunity. Slip-ups such as... Stranger to Love signed on from the location close to Webb's home. He's long gone from places close to other crimes connected by the family as well. This is no coincidence. If he signed on with a phone, you would be able to trace which one it was? Yes, very easily. That's how I can say with certainty it was Book's. Can you confirm this, Williamson? So there was something weird about one of these. I think it was this one. Aye aye, Captain. So the site's IP charts. You can see here that Stranger Love was active roughly at the same time what was shot. Traced into this very street. It was an open signal, the neighbors didn't have a password protected. Leading right to him. Boy. You still got that diet, Dr. Pepper? Yes, I do. It's right here, it's almost done. Nice. You're not allowed to finish it until you beat the case. Bruh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> no.
Oh man, that's good juice. This is tricky. This one's tricky dicky. Tricky a dicky. Is it now? Yes. He lets a trail online leading right to him. Should I present the IP log? Nope. He. Just, just he. Oh, it's Lucas. Lucas, no. <laughs> he. Rowden. Or sorry, Mr. Reception. A witness, what? There we go, finally figured it out. Today. It's okay. It has been good. I played some Professor Layden. Damn. I've completed 75 puzzles so far in the game. Out of how many? Uh, there's 153 in the main game. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. As well as around 33 DLC ones, which I might stream once I finish the game. Because I, I, I can't access the DLC without playing the game on an emulator, so... Speaking of which, let me check uh, and see if someone outbid me yet. Nope. 19 hours and 31 minutes left on the Professor Layden and the last Spectre auction. You know Let's what? Fucking go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bid on it. <laughs> no. Professor. Professor Professor Layton Layton for Let's see Don't do it. Where is it Don't you do it Don't you do it You better not You find it first. Yeah, you won't find it. Ha ha, ha ha, loser. <laughs> I did the I fucking just thing filter. again. I did the thing filter. again. The funny auction. Let's see. What is Professor Layden and Pandora's box? No. See, you don't know the title, so uh, that's good. Watch you just bid like fifty dollars on it. Professor Layden and the Miracle Mask. No. Sealed new. N O S. What is N O S? I don't know. Nintendo on system. <laughs> Nintendo on. What else we got? Professor Layden and the Last Spectre. Yeah, that's the one. Why? New sealed. Yeah. US. What's the bid? Thirty-six dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Thirteen ninety-two <laughs> shipping. Nineteen hours and a half maining. Maining? What the fuck? I can't speak. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Place a bid. <laughs> Stop for um three hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I'm gonna save it and I'll I'll keep checking. Okay, maybe you can help me out. Let me look at the the reviews of the person. So he's got. 
a, a few negatives. That's okay. They're just haters. Just haters on this guy. I mean, here's my one problem with the listing. It says new sealed. And then look at the picture. I hope that sticker is not on the case. <laughs> like in the it art? Looks like it is. You mean like inside well, of the, like on the paper? Well, I, I, I mean like outside, but uh, you could just replace it, right? Well, I could just take it off. What is this? Nintendo Wi-Fi connection? What? That's fire. I told you there's DLC. What else we got? See the beginning of it all. The first chapter in the Layton. <laughs> it's the first game in the prequel trilogy. That's why it says the first chapter. It's Solve like the puzzles. T mystery of. Mystery of. Oh, I got seven ads. I didn't get ten today. Damn. Damn. Damn, this game has alcohol reference, mild violence, mild suggestive themes, and simulated gambling? It's just like Twitch.tv. Wow. Connection. Good. Item description from the seller. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, why does it say new sealed then? If it's just good, that's man. If it wasn't, if it wasn't so much cheaper than it actually is, I wouldn't even be looking at it. I hope you get it, man. You better get it. You better get it. Ooh, three. You know, I'm starting to wonder. Once I get that, it's probably gonna be one of the most like expensive games that I own. I mean, I believe my is, the most. Hmm? What is your most expensive now? Um, only because of how stupid the market is for these games. Probably Pokemon Black Two on DS. Uh, because <laughs> those go for like a hundred and fifty plus on eBay, and like stores wow. and shit. Because like. I don't know why, but the Pokemon games just rose up like a lot. It sucks. Hmm. It it really it really sucks. So, but I do own it. I can I can show you too. I can show you that I have it. See here you go. Look at it here. Pokemon Black Two, on wow, Nintendo DS. Here you go. Thanks. Hell anyway. yeah. Oh, it's the it was the game, it was the game I gave you in the Christmas video. Remember? Yes. Uh, like, yeah, I do have a good amount of like rare games. I have Kirby's Dream Collection on Wii, which is probably my well, like rarest Wii game. Um, other than that, uh. I have some more, like, weird ones, like Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. I mean, it's not that rare. Uh, not really many rarer DS games. Although I do own Xenoblade X, which is one of the most, like, more pricey Wii U games, because I bought that game when it came out in, uh, 2016, so, a hey, look at that. And, uh, I guess the NES Classic Edition that I bought for my birthday is also pretty expensive. But I got it for way cheaper than it normally goes for. Anyway, back to the actual game. Oh yeah, they didn't say the identity of the killer. You see, Your Honor. They didn't recognize the killer. They couldn't identify him. Well, if that's the case, couldn't he just describe the murderer? Not even a gender or hair color was given. Damn it, I'm an idiot. Color couldn't give any details. 
They were told to? The caller couldn't see the crime. The caller was probably lying then, right? Either our caller was just feeling extremely unhelpful that day, or something about this isn't right. The caller mentioned the killer had seen him. Remember yesterday how it wasn't possible to see into that room from ground level? Or well, the reverse has to be true as well. Somebody standing at the back of the room would have a hard time seeing a person on the street. Especially with Pure Madness's house in the way. Why well, that's right! That would mean that the caller was rather close. You would have to... Uh... He, uh, he or she? Hey, your honor. It was a he. Well, how do you know? I don't. But if I'm right, there's somebody else that even does. If you recall from yesterday, Prosecutor Williamson reacted rather, rather strongly to our witness. Called him right from my room after I saw it happen. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. My reasoning at the time was that it had been made from a payphone. But there was something much more obvious than that. It wasn't there, Williamson? Yes. You see, no matter how hard the caller tried to remain anonymous, there's one thing he couldn't hide. Men and women generally have very distinct voices, don't they? They do, but knowing he was a man doesn't help us much. Doesn't? Still like to know why he didn't name the suspect? Even if he was trying to frame the defendant, shouldn't he accuse him directly? Well, Your Honor, it wasn't Mr. Books he in specific that he was setting up. There were several potential suspects he didn't know which to accuse. Several potential suspects. The. The, um. Fucking. The chat log, right? Has to be that. There we go. The flame war on AF a little week. over a week ago. It was set up to turn the whole side against Bad Player. It was instigated beforehand so there would be several suspects. There was now an entire group of people who hated him. Already identified everybody. Okay. can't control what other people say online, no, but sometimes you can predict it. There's one person who had a reputation for causing controversy. Bro. Oh. Yes. Absolutely perfect. Fucking... Woman. What's perfect? Michael Keaton's... yeah. Oh, job. <laughs> Bro. That is perfect casting. Spider. Finger. Spider. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me mad, Spider. <laughs> Stop stopping my crimes, Spider. You're gonna get yourself killed. Bro, you like how the fucking vulture, his head, looks like an ostrich? It does. You know, I keep thinking over and over again, when I, when I, when I th whenever I think about ostriches, why the fuck are they bald? <laughs> like... You know, um, I think it was me, Jeremy... Tyler and someone else, we did a presentation for ostrich ration. 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 Ra ostrich ratio. <laughs> <laughs> we did a ostrich racing presentation for religion class. Why religion class? I don't know. Because we were supposed to choose like a sport. And we just, obviously every, people did like soccer, baseball, whatever. And then we're just like. Ostrich racing. <laughs> That's an actual thing? Yeah. People ride, do they ride on ostriches or the ostriches? <laughs> no, they ride on them, bro. It's like horse racing. <laughs> <laughs> bro, the ostrich racing. That's the fucking Final Fantasy VII minigame, bro. Like, shit. <laughs> bro, that, that presentation was awesome. Do you still like have it? it? I 
I haven't, I haven't checked PowerPoint. It's probably on my school account. Which probably doesn't exist anymore. All right, so the, the thing for it. Let's see. What do we got here? Damn, I ain't got nothing here. Yeah, no, I don't have it. The inside person working against him. <laughs> Story checked out perfectly. We had triple check. We wouldn't miss it. Something like this. Okay, Mr. Williamson, I'm curious to know who in your team wrote up the report for the witness alibi. You can't just miss something like that. First person to question the witness was Togamera. Agent Togamera, is this true? Yes, it's true. I interrogated the witness, but I'm afraid at the time her going to Britain was unknown to me. We've been over this. That isn't something you just miss. You have to be a blind and incompetent, blind and incompetent, to not figure it out. Heck, a two-minute chat with her parents could probably have given you all the answers. Sorry, the thought never occurred to me. Perhaps I am, as you say, blind and incompetent. Yeah, this guy's a lying bitch. Damn, he's taking off the glasses a little bit, bro. All those years ago, that was the same reasoning. Incompetence. Yet you still managed to become an FBI agent. How? That, I'm afraid, is irrelevant. Agent, the defense has good points. If you missed out on something this obvious, I hardly consider you to be FBI material. I'm sure my superiors will be upset. When the time comes, I'll accept whatever they decide to be my fate. His excuse is that he's an idiot? Of course he realizes it. He hasn't shown himself to be blatantly stupid until now. This has to be a cover for the real reason. What would be so serious that he would risk getting fired? Serious in the accent? Okay. That would mean this is all intentional. He had a reason for allowing her to falsely testify. But why would... Williamson, Waters, everybody been saying something off... Everyone, everyone's been saying something's off about this case. Nobody's been able to get anything done. And now this guy's apparently let that woman make it onto the stand. He had to have forged her alibi. But the only reason he might do that was... The police station. He was there when Cody... It was him! He must have killed Cody and Webb. No matter how I look at things, it all comes back to this man. Can't let this monster get away. You're staring, right? Something you'd like to say? Togamera, I don't buy your excuse for one second. This music's actually fired, though. This shit is kinda gas, though. There's no way this is just bubbling ignorance. That's so. Yes, in fact it is. There's one piece of evidence that would make it impossible to not see where she was. And your own words have told us that you knew about this evidence. The IP log, right? There's a very simple way to tell where a user was located. The IP log. You let it slip earlier that you have access to it. I'm sure if we trace the address she used during her vacation dates, it would lead directly to England. Yes, more foolishness on my part to overlook it. No! You would take the time to carefully track mass news, stranger to love and bad player, but not the one witness who should help you put them away? Let's face it, your entire case rested on that woman's testimony. Your inability to confirm her location wasn't accidental, it was on purpose. We're on to something here though. Order, order I say! Agent, what is, is what he says true? Of course not. He hasn't even given a reason for why I might have done it. Hmm, Mr. White? Mr. White? <laughs> you heard him. We need a reason of why he possibly have done this. That woman's testimony has completely changed the case as it was. It brought me something very important to the mix that hasn't been there before. By claiming to have witnessed the crime she created... A suspect, a victim, a witness... A suspect. There weren't any. Or rather, there wouldn't have been if Webb's neighbor hadn't shown up. Everything pointing to my client is circumstantial at best. And a straight up lie at worst. There was no reason to suspect him, or anybody for that matter. And suddenly she shows up and the prosecution has a suspect. They jumped at the opportunity. 
Or rather, from what I understand, the prosecution didn't. You did. What are you saying, Mr. White? <laughs> God, I can't stop saying Mr. White. Because of what she said. There was nobody around to pin the murder on. He needed somebody to be a, a scapegoat for it. Think I just picked somebody off the street to blame? How dumb do you think I am? That's no way how to run a case. If it wasn't for your case, then why? Why would you need to frame somebody? It's very simple. To protect the real killer. Think about what you're doing, Wright. There's no going back from here. Mr. Wright, who was this person? If you know, then please tell us. Your Honor, he's been claiming as claiming it as a federal case for some time. But I'm suspecting something very different. He has been deliberately hindering the prosecution. I find it very suspicious. It was you, Togamera. You killed Mr. Webb. Order! Order! Mr. White! <laughs> I, can't, I can't stop saying it. Fuck. Do you have any idea about the gravity of what you're suggesting? I do, Your Honor. Every scenario I can think of points to this man as the culprit. He's been misleading everyone from the very beginning. My methods may be extreme, but the goal is always to be to be with the greater good in mind. Who are you to question it? And you talk about it regardless of who the killer was, your actions and inactions are inexcusable. I will have a word with your superiors when this trial is over. This accusation must be addressed immediately. Mr. Williamson, you have been very quiet. What is your stance on this? Prosecution calls for a recess. Oh, what for? This turned my case upside down. I'm going to need some time to get things straight. Give me ten minutes. Well, I suppose that's fine. This court will have ten minute recess. I expect to see you all back here after that. Let's take an intermission here. Since it is a recess after all. Let's take a ten minute intermission. Is that possible? Is it possible? Let's find out. But first, internet settings music. The classic. So, just mm. so, let's check Twitter. What is on the Twitter? Are you excited for Chainsaw Man? Because I am very excited. Sure. I think it's cool. For, uh, yeah. When is, um, when is, 
One. 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 One is... <laughs> okay, I'm one. Losing it. I'm losing it, bro. Help. Help. <laughs> What is your your go-to order at McDonald's? Jinger chicken meal. Very good. I've recently been getting McDoubles. Yeah. They're actually like pretty good. They're decent, yeah. And it's under 10 bucks. Remember when it used to be $5 and like a year and a half ago and now it's like 7 I love Remember it. when the ice cream truck used to be like a dollar for a small cone of sprinkles? Yeah. Now it's like $6. Bro, I love how things... Fair. I love how things are costing more money and yet we're not earning more money. It's so much you fun. You know what's crazy? It's, it actually pisses me off. Freaking the two dollar bag of chips from the dollar store are now two fifty. Bro. Yeah. That's like a crime. What's next? Costco hot dogs and drink calling. No. Costco bro. <laughs> costing more no, than one fifty. Bro. You don't understand. Like that will cause a war. <laughs> Like, that that is, that would actually change the course of, re, like, humanity. If they changed it, if they bumped it up to two bucks, oh my god. Dude. I, I, bro, Twitter would, like, crash. I could imagine Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> the hot dog guy was two dollars now. <laughs> you know what oh. I think suck? What? You know, like the little Debbie uh pastries. Mhm. Mm Most of them are kind of ass. <laughs> Wait, little. Hold on. Little Debbie. Let's see. Oh yeah, these. Yeah. They're like. There's a. My favorite is the zebra cake. That's my number one. But like most of them are shit. Bro, what is this tier list? Like the only ones I kind of like are like. Like the Swiss rolls. Yeah, Swiss rolls, Swiss rolls and zebra cake are my favorite. Swiss rolls and maybe like, uh, kind of just the, <laughs> that. Bro, I want a zebra cake now. Like, I don't like their brownies. They taste like sh they don't taste like anything. Bro, their brownies are ass, with the little like chocolate chips on it. Yeah, oh. or like, like the cosmic ones with like the sprinkles and shit. Bro, that's like freaking kindergarten brownie, bro. I guess oh, maybe the cho the chocolate cupcakes might be all right too. I want a zebra cake now. But like, yeah, the Swiss rolls are the only ones that I can tolerate. The rest they taste like shit and will fucking like decrease your lifespan. Is that cereal? Oatmeal cream pie, cereal. The oh, oh, the oatmeal cream pies are lat. First off, why oatmeal fucking oatmeal cookies? Like oatmeal cookies are fine by themselves. Because the only way I'd eat an oatmeal cookie if it's like the the hard ones. Yeah, I like the hard ones. Yeah, exactly. But it's like, like oatmeal cookies. Are at least they taste decent, and they're like. What is this? They're not 
bad that bad for you, but like shit. What is what is this bootleg twinkie little Debbie's doing? Cloud cakes? Nah bro. You can't disrespect Twinkies. Even though I I like Twinkies. Oh Twinkie man. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I want a zebra. Zebra cake is my favorite. I want a zebra cake. Oh yeah, the uh, Jujutsu Kaisen movie is coming to Crunchyroll. Cool, 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 cool. I think you should watch it. Like, I, even though there's like references to the uh, to what happens after, it's a prequel to uh, season one. And I have the manga it's based on. Are you ready? For tomorrow night. What's tomorrow night? Oh. Daredevil. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's coming. I'm staying up for that episode. Me too. We're both staying up. Yes. Fucking, where is it? Oh, they better play a Steam song. I swear to God, if they don't play a Steam do, song. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, they, they, gotta, they gotta play the soul one. Daredevil thing, but with the Breaking Bad instruments. Well, I wonder what his first dialogue is gonna be. So. <laughs> People are saying he's wearing a different suit, like he's wearing the yellow suit because, um, because he's not in New York. You know what I mean? Oh, like, uh... Like Spider-Man. Like, yeah, I was, what, what is it? Freaking Night, Black Night, Monkey? Night Monkey. Night Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Black <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't think we should be saying that on my stream. What? <laughs> you're you're making it worse. Don't worry, Twitch. It he did it. His name is uh Ramen underscore perfected. Oh uh, yeah. Yes. That wasn't me. What is it? Yeah, Night Monkey. This is an actual Wait, so... is this is this an actual line from Breaking Bad? So what? Yeah. That's his. I am the danger. Oh. You know? He's like, a guy opens his door and gets shot. You think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. Do you know who is the one who knocks? Who? Who? <laughs> I am the one who knocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I just closed the stream. Oh damn. I am the one who knocks. I ain't all what you want and not. Do you like Wolverine? Just... Like the movie Wolverine? Which one? The the one that's just called The Wolverine. Yeah, the movie's sick. I know it has like really good fight scenes. I would watch the director's cut of it. See, I still have it's only more... seen... I've only seen, um... The original X-Men trilogy. I'm the juggernaut, bitch. Is it weird that I didn't like X2 that much when I first watched it? What happens in that one? It's the one with I... like... I don't remember. I just remember the first one with the Statue of Liberty. It's the one with Nightcrawler, I think. 
think that's his name? I don't know. The blue guy who could, like, teleport. Yeah, it's Nightcrawler. Okay. I don't think I've ever watched the second one, honestly. Everyone says it's the best of the original three. I don't even remember them. Well, we gotta watch, um... X-Men Origins Wolverine. We must watch it. Oh, they're on Disney Plus? I, I completely forgot about that. Is, um... Wait, does Disney Plus have the Wolverine? Why is... Why is I show speed at the, uh... At the Queen's funeral? Oh god. <laughs> Why is he in London? <laughs> Why is he going to the Queen's funeral? I don't think it's a director's cut. God. Ooh, Thor Love and Thunder is on Disney Plus. Wow. That's crazy. Bro. November is going to be wild. We have, at Why? the start of the month, One Piece Film Reds coming out. In uh, English. Like, right at the start of the month. Like, uh, November 3rd or some shit. And then, mm -hmm. a few days later, um, a few days later, we have Sonic Frontiers coming out. And then, uh, God of War Ragnarok. And then the new mm. Pokemon. Mm. It's fire. But the the question is, who is the one who knocks? <laughs> this guy. I am. This guy's the one who knocks. Oh yes, I've seen this. Bro, kick some right. Boom! Strike! Nice shot! Dun, dun. I can't do it. <laughs> what the heck ha Bro, what? Bro, I swear there's a ghost in my room. A there ghost? actually might be, cause bro, I was playing Destiny, and my chair just turned by itself. I didn't even move; it just turned. But like, bro, and then my computer just opens up Destiny to freaking item manager. If there's a ghost. Please give me give me a money so I can buy Rowden's uh, Professor Layden for. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Obviously, I would never do that. Would you buy it for me and then give it to me? I would buy it and then sell it to you for $37. Yes. 37 no, not dollars, freaking euros. Bro. <laughs> okay. Holy shit. <gasps> oh. Holy fucking shit, bro. <laughs> what? Rate rate this setup.
That's like the opposite. Yeah. But like, you like how the I consoles like hooked up at the bottom. <laughs> I like it. I rate the setup. Yeah, usually it's more like, like, like this, right? Yeah. But like. What do you think that guy's playing in the picture? Doom. What, do you not think it's Doom? No, I think it's... Looks like a Dokkan battle. Everything is Dokkan battle. Bro. <laughs> this is taped to the top of the bunk bed. Like, the bottom bunk. Look at this. <laughs> no, it's bolted. It's bolted. I just looked at it. It's fucking bolted. That is crazy. Peep the setup. Bro, what about the setup? I got you. Um, rate this one. I like the mouse pad. Look at that mouse pad. Bro. I think it's running Windows XP. <laughs> Damn, bro! Look at that setup. Man, got the the broken desk. That's not a. That's a drawer. <laughs> I guess they just cut it open. They just cut it open to make it a desk. the setup. Bro, I love... I love weird gaming setups. They're so awesome. You don't understand. Like this one? Oh man, this one. Hey, you could sleep in there. <laughs> I'm also a big fan of, like, the 9-11 uh, setup. Oh, what is- is that out of cardboard box? I got the Pepsi. Why is the box the first thing you're looking at? I don't know. Not the um the bricks and rubble on the ground. Well, that's normal, bro. What about this one? <laughs> this one just makes me uncomfortable. How does this happen? Why does he have a box of Popeye's fries? 
How does he play with the keyboard like that? My man really raged at Minecraft, bro. Are you rage at Minecraft, bro? Where are you finding all these setups? Don't worry about it. Like... Man. That's a classic. I just love the fucking just framed photograph of fucking Satoru Iwata. Like, why is it there? And then there's just a fucking banquet meal on the ground. Just on the raw ground. Why is it like the mustiest like corner of a basement possible? Bro. <laughs> I got the PS2 slim. This looks like some somewhere where someone's been kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> and the only thing they could play is fucking Dance Dance Revolution. It's their only source of entertainment. That's fire. The Tekken- was that the- like the PS1 Mini? Yeah, that's not fire though, the PS1 Mini sucks. Oh my god, what is this one? Oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Yeah. Those kind of setups. It doesn't top some like, of these ones, though. <laughs> I don't know why that picture's so low quality, but hey. It adds to I like it. This, I like this setup. <laughs> he got the old machine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the whole machine. A lot of these are so low quality, bro, but it makes it funnier. <laughs> Bro, that keyboard has been ground to dust. <laughs> A pedal step, bro. Damn, is that a train? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Man's on the ceiling. What? Is this like a, another one? <laughs> <laughs> this has to be like a prison, bro. What? Is that even gaming? 
What is this? <laughs> it's a hospital bed. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I'm a big fan of this one. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> You're the freaking microwave setup. What about this? Is the keyboard so far away? <laughs> I don't even I I don't even have answers to understand this one. Bro. This this is a mic setup. impossible hmm. like some of these just make me uncomfortable like to look at like how would he even do this how would you go about playing on this bro who thinks of this how much shit is connected you got a power bar that's full, you got another one up this there. This man's That's using full. tires. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got Wendy's? Is that a Baconator I see? Bro, this I got another seven ads, by the way. This man's in like a nuclear shelter. Let's go seven ads. You get your money. You are getting money. See, I'm looking for like the nasty ones, you know what I'm saying? Like those custy setups. Bro. Bro, I'm so sad the freaking Lord of the Rings show sucks. Look at this. Man's setup is in this kitchen. What's he playing? Is that Rocket League? <laughs> well, those cabinets are clean though. Look at that. They're all shiny. Bruh. Holy fuck. Oh, the triple monitor setup. In the bathroom. I, do I don't even have words for this one. I don't want to know what that shit is at the top. Well, that's like freaking the shit in the walls. What's it called? Insulation. Yeah. Is he watching? No, I think he's watching. This one took me a while to notice. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the perfect it's setup. The, got the ketchup setup. This is the perfect setup. This is quality. Did you take this picture, bro? <laughs> Bro. Dude, I'm sure I'm gonna 
talk about. You can send like a few more. Okay. Here, I'll go to sleep. I'll send you the nastiest keyboard ever. <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah. That is nasty. Okay. What is this? Is this a is this a DVD player? Are you fucking kidding me? It's awesome. Here's another one for you. Bro. <laughs> I hope his joy cons have stick drift. <laughs> you hope? Yes. Malcolm in the middle. Bro, man made a custom Joy-Con grip out of a fucking, like, whiteboard eraser. I'll send you one more. That shouldn't be that funny. Holy what? shit. <laughs> uh, I can't even send it to you. <laughs> what are you sending to me? Is that GTA? Wait, hold on. Let me full screen it. Hold up. <laughs> what is so like that? <laughs> you better experience pain. <laughs> Just slides and it slowly falls over. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way he, when he falls over, he doesn't even fall, he just like tilts. <laughs> I love the you about to experience pain. I <laughs> like I like the shadow at the end. What, what fell on them? The police car. Then, then what's the fucking frame in the corner? <laughs> That's slime, bro. <laughs> You're about to experience pain. <laughs> Made it the Michael Jackson slide. We're at the end. Oh yeah, but here's the last one. That's why freaking GTA 4 is my favorite. What is this? Something's missing. <laughs> it's empty. Hey, you're about to experience pain. You about to experience pain. 
All right. So, that is the last one. But are you about to experience pain? <laughs> Bro, I wish I could slide like that. You know what's even better than that setup though? My my old setup. Yeah. <laughs> my old setup. <laughs> Just the mic. It's microphone zero. Bro. Bro, you wanna see what my game shelf used to look like when I started like collecting games? Okay. Like when I was like right at the start. <laughs> That's all I had. Then I hold on. Wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Do I have a picture? Hold on, this, this was my, um, <clears throat> this was my Dragon Ball collection very early. Like, how early are you talking? Like, yeah, like, this is when I started. <laughs> like, I bought my first figure. Like, what year? 2016? Oh, what year? Let me see, this was... 2018. Oh. I love this shelf. <laughs> With the DVDs just sticking out, or the Blu-rays just sticking out like that. Oh, look at that. We Was this at this. your grandparents' place? Yeah. Bro, yeah, this shelf was in my... in my basement. At my mm -hmm. old house. Here's another picture from my old house. <laughs> of my backyard one day. <laughs> oh. Did you, did you go swimming? I went swimming. You should go swimming. I'm going yeah. to sleep. Yeah. It's You're time. going to sleep. Yeah, I gotta sleep. No, we can do it too. I could do pop 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 so bit of pop 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 I got about pop. I will stay up tomorrow for Daredevil. You will? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, before you go, I still have another, I have another setup picture. <laughs> this is my setup in my basement in 2016, when I first got my laptop. <laughs> Damn. The great setup. That is quite an amazing setup. There's also a... There was also my gamer drip. Your gamer drip? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's him. Nintendo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's blue now. <laughs> He's a random blurry grainy ass picture from when I went to Canada's Wonderland with Tyler on his I believe 14th birthday. <laughs> Did you eat that time? 
We ate, yes. Okay, good. Bro, then there was this picture. <laughs> <laughs> I looks like Walter White. I don't know. <laughs> this is young Walter yeah. White. Young Walter White, yes. And then this is like the oldest picture I could find on here. This is when I went to the video game museum. <laughs> I don't know what the space I'm making is. <laughs> Bro, that hat was so fucking big. Holy shit, <laughs> it looks... <laughs> From that angle, it looks like comically big. Like, just look at it. Bro. <laughs> That's just like an umbrella on a hat. Also, there's my Snapchat link. Hold on. <laughs> Here's my Snapchat. And R. I look like the glasses emoji bro. Still <laughs> around in 420. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. There's one more thing. Okay. There's one last okay. thing. Last Epic. thing. The one recording I have. The Zane piano recording. Is he good at piano? He might be good at piano. <laughs> Damn. That anyway, ain't a video, bro. This is, remember how I said this would be a 10 minute? Intermission. It's been 45 minutes. <laughs> Bro. Every time. <laughs> every every day. Every day I wake up. Bro, we are we gonna stream the Daredevil episode? Stre stream it? <laughs> yeah, live reaction. Like full on just stream the whole episode, show everything. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We won't you won't get in trouble. How does speedrun getting banned off of Twitch? <laughs> anyway. I'm starting the case. I'm gonna finish it. Okay. I'm going to sleep. Okay. G. G. Oh god, my fanfuls are gonna die. Good night. Good night. Yo, Cooler. Hey, what's up? You broke your keyboard yet? No. Yeah. I'm not broke. Even if I broke it, I just get a new one. I'm, I'm waiting for you to break it. That's kind of... That's a kind of bad friend. See, but like, it's just ine inevitable. Uh-huh. Just like that... It's better for it to happen early than later. Mm. Sure. That's what you think? Close the door, OG, close the door. You have bomb, nigga. Why are you harming the nigga? What the fuck was that? Sorry, Dan, I take care of my things. Shout out to, shout out to your face cam stream, though. I'm proud of you. 
I wish you all the best, Daniel. See, Javon, you should have been watched Full Metal Alchemist. That's your fault. All right, I'm going to go back to streaming. Just checking in on the boys there. Why is there no audio coming from the game now? What the fuck? The fuck, bro? Did I fuck the audio up? I think I did. Hold on, let me try doing this. No, I fucked up with the audio. Hold up. Gotta reload again. There we go. Reload. 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 Okay. Here we go. That fixes it up. Defendant Lobby Number two What do you think he wanted a recess for? I'm not sure But I don't believe him when he says he just wants to rethink things He's up to something I knew that FBI man also had How much do I have left of this anyway? I believe I have two more testimonies left we see using top secret as an excuse, if we go find a way to break through that, he's definitely going to be a slippery one. Do you think we have enough? I'm not sure. Prosecutor doesn't have much evidence, but we need to do we. The whole issue with this case is that the fire destroyed everything. Excuse me, sir, I was told to bring you something. From whom? Dr. Drizia wanted me to deliver this to you. He thought I could help you. I told him I might know where to find you. Cody's autopsy reports. Tell him thank you, officer. Okay, this man, Cody, really got murked. Wow. I'll make sure we put this man away for good. Cody dying really made this case actually serious. Alright. Court is in session again. Williamson, did you have enough time? Yes, it was sufficient. Have you rethought my case? The prosecution supports that Agent Togamari's claims. What? Williamson, are you really going along with this guy? I know what I'm doing. Do you? Of course I do. And here I was, starting to think you actually had your priorities straight. You seem confident about this. The defense has shown some very compelling things regarding the agent. I would like to hear a rebuttal for this. Judge, as a federal agent, I would never step outside the law in such a way. It certainly is a scary thought. Nevertheless, I want to hear your testimony about this. Certainly. Williamson, what are you thinking? I managed to master the judge voice to make it a little bit easier on my throat. Instead of doing like the, Oh, I'm the judge! I do like, Hey, I'm the judge, hey, bitch. Hey, yo. You know what I bitch, motherfucker? I don't do like the deep, Oh, I, I do uh, like a, Oh. <laughs> that must sound so crazy. Is the music really not playing anymore for this case? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to play it myself. Hold on. Fucking Christ, man. Only this shit would actually work. Here we go. Let's play the Allegro version. Did he kill Webb? I would never be stupid enough to initiate a confrontation with him. My mission was to kill it, never to kill him. I wouldn't overset that boundary. There's nothing to suggest I even entered this room. As for the witness, I stand by what I said earlier. Mr. Wright, given this man's status, I hope you can back up your claims. Your accusation here carries more weight than usual. Yes, given that, I'd say it's only fair to deliver a harsher sentence to him. After all, we know he's bluffing. Harsher sentence? 
Why are they going to throw me in prison if I screw this up? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm not letting this guy get away. This is personal. This is personal. Phoenix Wright. In Conflict of Interest. Will he find Cody? Okay. So you didn't kill him. You've just been hindering the search to find who did. I think you better start to understand my actions. What you claim is hindering was merely foolishness. I was over eager to complete the mission and skipped a few too many quarters. That's a lie? Do you even have an alibi? Of course I do. However, I'm not at liberty to divulge. Damn it, enough with this. You don't have one at all, do you? And if I don't, what then? You still have nothing. If you expect anyone to believe you, you'd better give yourself an alibi. You are the one making an accusation. Let's see you prove first that he did what you say he did. Your case holds less weight than mine does right now. Still, he's right. I need to actually back up what I'm saying. Now how about will you let me continue? I would never be stupid enough to initiate a confrontation with him. Why is that? Why not? Why wouldn't I be stupid? No, why wouldn't you confront him? What was dangerous? I couldn't let him know that I was onto him. I would be dead before the week was out. Hmm. What should I do? Let's, uh... Press a little bit? He was so dangerous, why did he never bring him in? Are you dense? That was the whole point of my mission. I was never able to gather, gather sufficient evidence on him. It's just near this guest mission Paramount. Okay. Yeah. Shit's weird. I don't even think he's an FBI agent at this rate. Never to kill him, I wouldn't overset that boundary. What exactly was your mission? To gather incriminating evidence on Webb and all of his contacts. You said earlier that he completed this mission. Will we be seeing Revalis or more Revalis family arrests? I can neither confirm nor deny. This is irrelevant. The success of his mission has nothing to do with whether or not he killed the victim. Okay. There's nothing to suggest I even entered this room. Maybe right there. The fire destroyed all evidence of the crime. That's right. Do we have anything that proves he was there? Nothing physical, at least. We were never able to make it onto the crime scene. Is there anything from outside the crime scene? Outside? What? I don't think there should be anything outside of it. Not the photo. Not the autopsy report. Let's see. Let me check this, by the way. Victim was shot three times in the back. Shots were fired at close range from a low caliber firearm. Any one of these bullets could have proven fatal. Pass through the body into the bookcase behind him. The wounds are consistent with those found on the body of Walter Webb. Anything from outside that I can prove it? Let's see. I'm gonna say no for now. I don't think I have anything. I should keep looking for contradictions. As for the witness, I stand by what I said earlier. You made up her alibi. What happened to yesterday was your fault. Yeah, you was being a pretty dumbass for fucking making that shit all up. Well, whether or not it was intentional or foolishness, you ruined my case. I hope you're happy. Hope you're happy, you son of a bitch. Yeah, because they have some sort of past history that we don't know about here. Maybe instead of letting them control the proceedings, you should. 
He's trying to talk about Mr. Webb's murder right now. We know there's nothing solid for that, so then make him talk about something else. Well, about what? Okay, let's see. Did kill him, I would never be stupid enough. Nothing to suggest you even enter this home, really. Uh crime scene photo? Do this again, I think this is the only thing I could do. Let's try this. Your Honor, I have proof that he's lying. Well, let's see it. What proves he went into the victim's home before the murder? Proves he went into the victim's home before. There's something crazy that I haven't noticed yet. I mean, I don't think this map would have anything to do with it. No, it's just a really shittily drawn map. See, what's tough about this case is that there's like multiple layers to this. There's the stuff inside of the house, the stuff outside of the house, and the stuff online. So there's like, yeah, there's three layers to this whole thing. I want to say the call. No. Okay, well, if it's not the call. The photo? Because it has, like, names written on it. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know if that would even do anything. If I got anything, I should keep looking for contradictions. Enough to initiate a confrontation with him. I didn't kill Web. Okay, did I? Ever, I press this right. Right now, you're the most suspicious person here. Girl, you're what? I think it's Mr. Books. Oh, I haven't pressed this one yet. Hold on. Certainly persistent. It's my job to be persistent. It's my job to catch dangerous criminals, not murder them in cold blood. You have nothing to show that I did it. We'll see. You're nervous. I would be too. Now, if there's anything else, let's get back to my testimony. Anything else? Anything else? Is there anything else I should bring up? Make new accusation. Ooh. As a matter of fact, yes, I would like to say something more. The defense would like to make a new accusation. Cody's autopsy report, bro. Has to be that. I bet you were hoping to only ex have explained one murder, weren't you? Only one? Was there more? Probably thought stop the music here. Yes, yesterday another happened right in the middle of the police department. A young man named Cody Hackins was shot. Order! I am aware of the murder there. The police department is trying the best to recover from a tragedy like that. Hackins, I know that name. I remember him from the last trial. He he was only a minor. Oh yes indeed. He was too young, he, it shouldn't have happened to him. But Mr. Wright, are you sure the two cases are connected? 
Whoever killed Mr. Webb also had plenty of reason to want Cody dead as well. Because of the, uh, this, right? Simply put, they were working together. Working together? That boy should have known better. Do you believe you know why they were killed? I think I do. It started with somebody being hacked. Oh, we got the internet music going on. What? Somebody hacked me to death? But I thought the victim was shot. No, Your Honor, he means his computer was hacked. But, why would anybody hack a computer? Hacking is when someone uses a website or account without the permission of the owner. That doesn't sound like it's legal. It's not, but that's never stopped criminals before. Suspicious as need. Do you know who this hacker was? Not hacker. Hackers. More than one? How many? I believe there were two people who had their accounts broken into. Two? Well, things are getting interesting. Now, Mr. Wright, perhaps you could fill in the details for us. Who was the first person to hack an account? Who was the first person to hack an account? Hmm. It must have been this man, right? He must have hacked into the victim's account. Whose account did they break into? His account, right? So they broke into that person's account? Do you have any proof of this? Um... Has to be the discussion, right? Fuck. Oh god. Okay, damn it. Alright, so... If we think about what we have here... So Cody was arrested for hacking, right? Hmm... We gotta think about this one. Which account would he have hacked into? <laughs> oh god, this is complicated. Okay, so I want to say that This is weird. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna be doing here. Oh, hey, Timeless, thank you for the fucking raid. I'm sorry I don't have a raid notification going on right now. Um, wait, maybe I do. No, I don't. Okay, fuck it. Okay, so welcome. Welcome where I, to my suffering, my internal suffering here. Because I'm trying to figure out who hacked who here. Uh, so, fucking, oh god, I don't know. The judge, yes, that's him. But yeah, if anyone, any of you guys don't know what this is, this is a fan game called Ace Attorney Conflict of Interest. This is basically kind of like a alternate version of Ace Attorney 5, because this was actually made before Ace Attorney 5 was announced. Oh, thanks for the follow. Now you get to watch my epic- oh shit, it's behind it, no! Fuck, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh... No, alert box, please go up there. Thank you for the raid. 
I'm gonna lower that a little bit. You okay? Who are you to accuse me? Or at least I'm trying to lower it a little bit. That's my chat box, no. Uh, whatever. There we go, let's move it down here. Because why not? Okay, let's get back to this shit. Oh, well, yeah, this is a fan game. It's kind of like, oh, what if Ace Attorney 5? And things are very different. This was made like 2012, so it's not the best quality, but it it is surprising me with how creative this is. Because this case, you actually have to go onto the internet to investigate shit on like forums and crap, because this case has a lot to do with like shit that went down on the internet. And right now I'm trying to like interrogate this FBI agent guy who I don't think is an actual FBI agent. So, fuck, so I want to say he did it. Whose account did they break into? God, it's, if it's not his, then like... It has to be... Okay, this is like... This is hurting my head right now. He said he broke into this person's. Yeah, that's bothering me. That's really bothering me. Wow. What the fuck is it? Did I mess up here? I don't... Okay, wait. Normally quiet. After I spoke to this man. Okay, I'm gonna reload again. Let's see. Let's try him. Whose account did they break into? Whose account did they break into? What the fuck do I say, bro? What the hell? I don't know. Oh my god. Cool. Bad player? Broke in that person's account. Do you have any proof of this? Do I have proof of this? I don't mean, I don't know. Maybe the IP log. Because... Oh yeah, because someone else signed in there. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Please work, please work, please work. Are you... anything else that supports this? Huh? Did I... did I... T did I fuck up here? Thanks for the follow, Zekin. How are you doing today? It's 3 a.m. I have class tomorrow at noon. I don't give a fuck, I'm finishing this case. Okay. Shit. Shit, dude, shit, 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 shit. Did I fuck up? Did I fuck up? I mean, it presented the I. Present it again? Fuck off, Judge. After looking over everything, you believe it. Shut the fuck up, my god. Oh, man. Okay, well, Cody hacked in into this guy. Okay, let's try Cody, because we know he hacked into somebody. And whose account did they break into? This theme really does slap. Okay. Cody, he hacked into... Did he hack into this person, maybe? Because we know he... Okay, maybe. So they broke into that person's account. 
they have any proof of this. Uh, now let's try the the PM. You just made a huge target of yourself because we know this guy is part of the family. Try that. Do you have anything else that supports this? Okay, now let's try the IP log. That's the autopsy report. The IP log, there we go. Now let's see. Alright, so let's try and match one of these IPs. This is 241. 241. Yep, that's the same IP. Okay, he actually did do that. Wow, okay. Please work. Ah, yes, no. On to the second incident. Who was the second hacker? Second hacker. It has to- it has to fucking be... It has to be- it has to be the guy now. It has to be him. <laughs> fucking... Don't know. I want to say, wait. Maybe without incriminating him, because we—they're not supposed to know he's this guy yet. So let's try this as like the next hacker, right? Because stranger to love, yeah. Let's say he's the next hacker. And whose account did they break into? They hacked into Walter Webb's. Let's say that, because we know someone hacked into his account. Do you have any proof of this? Show the PM conversation. Well, this by itself won't be enough. Do you have anything else that supports this? Hmm. Well, obviously he wasn't supposed to be talking, because like he's already died from that point on. So the IP address again? Because what was his name? Bad player? Yeah, 240. Someone hacked in at that point. And two, is 240 one of the IP addresses he was on? Okay, 240. 24088. No. But he was constantly traveling, so... I could try it. Hmm. They're looking over everything that you presented? I'm not sure. Fuck off, bro. Oh, God. There's still a few holes in it. I think you need to look things over a bit more. That's a lot of health gone. Yikes. Okay, maybe... Do I not have... To... Okay, start over again. Who was the second hacker? Okay, oh my God, that shit is actually overflowing. Wow. Okay. Uh, it has to be... This guy, right? And they broke into this man's account. Do you have any proof of this? Well, I'm, I'd say the proof should be the fucking PM, right? Or maybe the IP log. So, like, okay. The private message doesn't prove that he did this when he was dead, right? Because it doesn't have a timestamp on it. The IP log should, because it shows login times. And it says he logged in at 3.50 a.m. From this point right here, correct? Uh, that shouldn't be possible. That shouldn't be possible because of the autopsy report. It says, if I could find it, he died between this time. And that time is actually after it. So, let's present the IP first. And then, let's present the autopsy report. There we go, final! Oh my god, bro, I'm gonna take this last swig of Diet Dr. Pepper now in celebration. I'm gonna force you all to watch me chug this last little drop. Shit, I almost dropped it, goddamn. I mean, wouldn't it matter? It's empty. It's not really chugging, is it? It's just one drop of a drink. But hey, alright, your honor, here's how things happen. 
Cody Hackins, probably going off the rumors of the site, tried to hack Stranger to Love. This is supported by both the IP log and the conversation we had with Mr. Webb. Mr. Webb realized something was up. Yeah, I, I know, it's not Chug, I'm sorry. He contacted Cody and convinced him to help. How did he know it was Mr. Hackins? We see in the PM that Webb knew that Cody was up to, what was up to. Cody hadn't admitted to him yet, so how would he, else would he know? The same way we did. He had access to the site's IP log. Oh, yes, that would make sense. That was the first incident, what about the second? The second took place after Mr. Webb was killed. Perhaps it wasn't exactly hacking, he may have just left his, left his account open. But if you look at the last time Bad Player was used, you'll see it was after he was dead. Sloppy. He had access to Bad Player but didn't erase all the evidence like that conversation? That wasn't an option. The music was already playing so he was short on time. A more thorough check of the account was impossible. After that the police were constantly monitoring, monitoring who was on the site with the IP log. So they would have been tipped off if somebody was trying to use Bad Player. Like you did yesterday. I, uh, y y you knew? The account was active at your client's home, of course I knew. And besides, how else would he have gotten that PM log? He knew about that and he was okay with it? Am I supposed to be doing his whole job for him? So the second hacking occurred after the murder? It was his killer? Yes. I mean, it could have only been... Yeah. He used the account to post under bad player's name, knowing it would create suspects out of everybody from the flame war. After that, you just needed somebody to solidify your case against. I think I'm stranger to love, funny. You already know you had access to it. You even admit you've been using it these past few days. And the account has never been used from the same location twice. That would mean it would be easy to do, do if your computer was mobile. Like, let's say, that smartphone I always see you using. That isn't evidence. Yes, it barely qualifies as speculation. I was using it to gather evidence against books. You can't prove I was the original user. I don't think there's any way to prove that the user was the killer, is there? The Togamera is stranger to love, or stranger to love is the killer. Or I could take a third option and try to directly prove that Togamera is the killer. Which should I do? Oh, fuck. He's stranger to love, he's the killer, or stranger to love is killer. I mean, here's the problem. It only makes sense if he was the guy to begin with. Because he was the he was the one who started this whole fucking flame war to begin with. So this was the day before, I believe. Yeah. Okay. What should I press? What should I do? He's the he's the alt account, or he's not, and the alt account guy is the killer, or he's the killer himself. I mean, it only makes sense. It only makes sense if he is the person. That's the problem. Because it's all been—it's all been pointing to that. Pets will prove that Togamera is stranger to love. What is your proof for this? Fuck! No, I didn't know I had to use proof. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Stranger to love. How do I prove that? How do I prove that? How do I prove that? Do I even have anything that proves it? I mean, let me let me check his profile. Hold on. Grew antagonistic after I spoke to this guy, a member of the Revalius family. I could try it. Nope. Load saved. Okay. Let's try it again. I might have something else I could use. Screw for this. Fucking Christ. This case is confusing as all hell. I don't have anything, though. Curly drawn picture. This house is caught on fire. Okay, that doesn't really follow any of that. The online argument... Because he didn't talk at all during this argument, so he's not a part of it. 
photo doesn't have anything to do with it. Screen cap doesn't really have anything to do with it either. Okay, Stranger to Love. I need to see if some of these IP addresses, like, last here. 19851 19851 Hmm is from a very close area It's logged in at the time I think what I should go on is that stranger to love is the killer I think I should start, like, from scratch here, so I think the proof that I have is the IP, out, IP log here. Fuck. What point is it prove? It, uh, it, uh, proves that I'm going to choose a save to load. Well, how does it... Because, like, the IP log should show that it's the same person here. Is there something else I have to fucking... Subject was You know what? Hold on for a sec okay. Since the okay, so it's the same killer that did both things. So which Kate wait which killing are we talking about here? The first one or the second one? I think we're talking about the second one. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try Cody's autopsy report. Let's fucking go. Oh my god, that was pissing me off. That was pissing me off. Our proof is the autopsy. This particular IP chart doesn't distinguish between phones and computers. Nor is there any way to show the username bot or or okay, what? Nor is there any way to show a username of Bodley's entity. Was that the crime scene? However, I could prove that Togamera is the killer. I don't believe you for a second. There's no evidence the crime scene was destroyed. Only one of them. Remember that there were two murders. And I believe that the second one contains some very solid evidence against you. This is the autopsy report for the second victim. Read here. It says that the wounds on Cody were consistent with those on Mr. Webb. That means the same type of weapon is used to kill both people. It doesn't mean anything. A million different people got have the same type of gun. Actually, the type of gun is just circumstantial. There's something else I'm looking at. Something much more important. Bullets pass through the body and into the bookcase behind them. Any one of those bullets. Shots are fired from close range from a low caliber firearm. What about this is weird? Let's go back to this one. Shot in the forehead at close range. Assuming that's what I have to use. Fire at a close range from a low caliber firearm. I'm gonna save just in case. I think it has to be it. That's the only thing that matches here. Fucking Phoenix, stop getting out here with your fucking big ass Simpsons face. Um. Low caliber firearm. Nope. What is about this? It's weird. I'm being stupid. I'm sorry. Shot three times in the back. Okay. No, I didn't mean to fucking click. No, 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 no. Oh god, thank god this thing has a built-in save seats, save system, not save state. Well, it is save states, but... Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm reading that right now. I don't want to click on that. The phone call. 
Nope. Ah, uh, shit. It has to be this shot in the forehead at close range. What about this is supposed to be weird? Any one of those bullets would have proven fatal. Is that it that's weird? That they shot him multiple times? What is this? Bullets pass through the body into the- into the- Oh, they went into the bookcase. Maybe that's why. There it is! Okay, we still have the bullets! Okay, we could try and match it to his gun. The ham being stupid, okay. We have some very solid evidence this time. Yes, bullets would be considered evidence. Has the forensics team done any testing on them yet? I can't say, I haven't been involved in that particular case. Well then, let's check with them. Bailiff, please contact the criminal affairs and find out what they know. Yes, your honor. Okay. What have you found out? I have the chief detective on the phone, sir. He says that they haven't done any testing on the bullets specifically, but they're ready when we are. Mr. Wright, you've led us here. I think you should decide what type of test they perform. Testing takes time, Judge. I'd say we've only had enough for one thing. Yup. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, it's a little bit overkill, don't you think? What tests do they perform on the bullets? We should check for... Ballistic markings. Yeah, that should be it. We should test for ballistic markings on the bullets. Since they hit a shelf of books and not something harder, they might still be fully intact. Looks like that hit a nerve. I'm getting to them. Very well. The forensics team will investigate the ballistic markings. Alright, let's see what's the results on this. The results are back. The police have identified the gun which killed Cody Hackins. The gun was registered for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. It was assigned to Agent Nathan Togamera. What? How good? Uh, rather sloppy of you, considering how well you cleaned up last time. We fi Okay, we finally fucking proved this guy. Let's fucking go. You can't prove I shot it. That wasn't me. Is there more than one Nathan Togamera in the FBI? No, I... Uh, oh, this... This wasn't... You don't understand. This should prove him, right? Because it was the same type of gun. Can't prove I shot him. It was your gun. You even I even saw you right there before we found the body. Yeah, because he was there at the criminal affairs place where Cody got shot. We saw him literally right before we... Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. That's why I was supposed to be there. Wasn't it? I can't... Believe it. I've, I've been... Right. You think you're clever? You know nothing about this. I know you killed two people in cold blood. That's enough for me. That shut him up real quick. Your client accused Mr. W or your client is accused of killing Mr. Webb, not a teenager. Don't try telling me these two aren't connected. Two people collaborating together being killed by the same weapon is not just a coincidence. Cold blood? Fair enough. Bailiff arrest this man. I don't believe we ever... Okay, yeah, we don't. I hope we're giving this new information. I believe we have enough to go on. I will leave the rest of this trial up to the jurists. Oh, no, he's not letting go off. I confess, I killed Webb. But it was entirely justified in doing so. Mur okay, so he's confessing, so that means... That means my boy is off the case, then. Like, he's good. But I guess now we're gonna have to prove that, like... Like, he doesn't have a justification for it. It is, if you have been assigned to do so by the federal government. He's really gonna pull this card now. What? He's gonna pull the fucking FBI card now. Okay. Alright. My superiors would argue that it is. And they have the final say here, not you. So your mission was to kill them all along. That's precisely correct. I was just following orders. No. Wait, no, wait a bit. I think I know just enough about this judicial system to realize that killing citizens is not a light matter. It would only be justifiable in a case of self-defense. Exceptions can be made for everything. What was dangerous, too dangerous to take alive. No, no. I want to word with his superiors. When the press gets a word of this... All hell will break loose, I'm sure. 
My failure here is going to cause the Bureau to take a lot of flack. Nobody was ever supposed to know about this. No one was supposed to know? And you're just admitting it freely? It was either that or be charged with first degree murder. I choose what was in my own better interest. You really don't have any loyalty to anybody but yourself. By killing Webb, I've sacrificed my entire career for you. The Bureau will be upset that this has come to light. They'll likely strip me of my badge. May I return to them now? I don't want to prolong this anymore. Uh, he, that phone he's carrying, that's how- that's- that proves that he was the fucking guy that was constantly traveling. I don't know. We'll have to turn you over to the FBI. I'm sure they want to deal with this as efficiently as possible. We'll have to hold it here until then. No, that won't be necessary. That's so. United States law permits the killing of those de deemed a threat to national security. I have done no wrong. Is- is that part of your jurisdiction? I'm sorry, I just... I've never had to deal with anything on this level before. He's getting away with this. He's just gonna use this as an opportunity to keep... Can't fucking speak, so I'm gonna and dry. Hold on, hold on, I need a fucking chapstick. Hold on. Oh fuck, something fell over. Okay, whatever. I just pull this on so I fucking... Lips don't fucking stick together again like that, goddamn. I think I dropped like a bunch of coins that were just sitting on my shelf. Anyway. We can't let him get away. This wasn't a government hit job. Can we do? Like, I've had my doubts from the entire time that this guy wasn't even a part of the FBI. Perhaps you have a better idea of what's going on. Do you have the authority to hold him until later? It was truly a government assignment, as he says. I'm not sure we, we can do much. The facts will come out later, and the Bureau will have to deal with it once they, one way or the other. Will somebody get the FBI on the phone? I want to have a war with them. It won't be necessary. We have all the answers we need right here. Don't we, Togamera? He's being silent, bro. I was hoping you'd give me the courtesy of one last testimony. Oh boy, here we go. I don't owe you anything. No, you don't. However, you've led me on a wild goose chase these past few days. You just confessed to murder in front of a room full of people, and went to great lengths to blame another person. So I hope you'll understand when I say I'm rather skeptical. As the prosecutor on this case, I am telling you now that it is within my authority to make sure this death is fully explored. If you don't speak now, you can guarantee I will go straight to the local branch to find out. You or your bosses, who should I hear it from? Your choice. Fine, you win. I'll talk. Alright, final final cross-examination, let's go, let's hope the fucking music works this time. Why is the music not working for this for this damn case? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to play it in the background. I, I modded some custom music in here because I wanted to make this more unique. So I used um some songs from a fan-made soundtrack of Miles Edgeworth Investigations 3 that I've been listening to for a while on YouTube. So I'm gonna use that music right now. I hope it's loud enough though. It should be loud enough. I confessed I killed Webb. The powers that decided he was simply or the powers that be decided he was simply too dangerous to take alive. So I was ordered to kill him. Nothing else to discuss here. I expect a full pardon. And I'll pause it. It is very annoying, I know, I'm sorry. Last chance, Williamson. You're obviously just stalling for me. Am I? Your Honor, prove me wrong here and now or I'm leaving. I've given my explanation. There's no reason it shouldn't be sufficient. Make it fast. Yes, if you can't find anything, then you may go. But I will see it to you that you return directly to the local FBI branch. Is there any doubt? Damn it, I guess it ends here for better or worse. Did this man heal all of my health? Did he really just do that? Hey, let's go. This man healed me. It's, it feels weird to call it healing, though, because it's fucking a lawyer game. Alright. Confess, I killed the web. You're the one behind everything. That's correct. I broke into Webb's house. I shot him in the head and burned the place down to get rid of any evidence. And his whole thing with the Ace fan club? All this stuff in the flame war? A very convenient coincidence. It almost succeeded in giving me the cover I needed. And the witness from yesterday? Another coincidence. Coincidence my leg. Coincidence my ass. I was about to make an AVGN joke there, but I couldn't really think of one on the spot because it's fucking 3.30 a.m. I know this is a lie, but can I prove it? Nothing. Okay. I'm not going to press anything right now. 
Well, I'm not gonna, like, choose anything in these presses before I read all of them. Would our government really hire someone to assassinate one of its own citizens? Would you know if they did? Oh, well, no, probably not. That's a scary thought. It is, but I'm not buying it. Is there anything wrong with what you just said? Nope. Okay. So, it's order to kill him. Are we going to do that with all criminals now? Just pass the entire just bypass the entire judicial system? Some people are never meant to be brought in. Well, it was far too dangerous. You're starting to sound like the last guy I faced in here. Well, maybe he was right. You should be thankful you never had to face the Ravalis family. Web being God is a blessing, it's for the greater good. I know this is a lie, but can I prove it? Yeah, I'm gonna have to pick and choose because I know it's only one of these things. Expect a full you expect a full pardon for fucking killing somebody. You get off just like that, you're getting off on something. <laughs> Not exactly Scott Fury. I was forced to reveal everything here, so they'll be upset. I'll likely be fired. If he meant a prison sentence, then no, that won't be happening. And Cody, the government's perfectly okay with you killing him. Hackins was web accomplice. He got in the way. Don't you dare talk about him that way. Is there anything wrong with that, what you just said? God, I don't know. Keep pressing, right? The testimony is rock solid. Doing my best. You're only succeeding in wasting time. We just have a little longer. Then he's gone. Is there something I missed the first time through? Maybe I just need to look harder. So which one is a lie? Killed Webb, but the powers that be decided he's simply too dangerous to take alive. So it's ordered to kill him. Nothing else to discuss here. I expect a full pardon. Okay. Decided he was simply too dangerous to take alive. Too dangerous. Alright, I don't think it's the first statement that we're gonna go through, so let me just quickly go through all these again. Okay, there isn't anything wrong with this. So I was ordered to kill him. Quite to do that with all criminals now. Maybe it was right, you should be thankful. But being honest, for the greater good. We haven't had to show this photo yet. Well, we did that one time, but... I don't see how this can be a lie. It being gone for the greater good. Things go bad, I want you to remember this number. What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. People, the right people will be able to tell you, you know, when they ask when the time comes. Let's try something. I found your lie. Really? How about you show it to us then? What was wrong with his last statement? I mean, this? No, it's, I'm, I'm wrong. Editions will fall, yeah, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I don't know. From experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I am an idiot. I'm sorry. Shit, any more guessing and I'm gone. You clearly don't know what, what you're doing. Shit. What did you say the first time? I might have to check that again. All stuff with the flame more. Very convenient coincidence. I almost succeeded in giving me the co cover I needed. The witness from yesterday? Another coincidence. I mean, okay, so... The flame war was not a coincidence. Because from what we know, this anonymous bitch told us... God, I'm gonna save. Can't be a coincidence. What's wrong with this last statement? Objection. Probably isn't that. Honestly, I think 
I have to prove something that like proves he's not working with the FBI because like that kind of can only be okay, let's try the fourth one it's forced to reveal everything here likely to be fired if he presents okay Cody is there anything wrong with what he just said oh fuck did I accidentally resize the game oh shit ah, that's fine whatever that should be fine enough So this is this is diff this is really hard. This is like harder than like any of the actual Ace Attorney games. Wow. Just trying to prove that he lied on this. That there's nothing else to discuss. Both know what you just did. But he wasn't really an accomplice, though. What was wrong with his last statement? Objection! Oh my god, bro. Holy shit, okay. <sighs> what the fuck? Holy shit, man. Okay, let me check in. I have that can even like I don't know I don't fucking know is there nothing that I have okay This is rough. This is actually rough. So I was ordered to kill him. My god, I am losing my mind here. <laughs> Holy shit. That's right, you should be thankful. It can't really be a lie, though. Nothing else to discuss here. Express a full pardon. Ex night. Expect, ex expect fucking Christ. But he wasn't an accomplice, though. His testimony is rock solid. Succeeding the only wasting time, we just have a little longer. Wait, what? Hold on. It seems you don't have anything to counter him with. What the fuck? Hold on. Are we supposed to be stalling for time? I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that I'm going to have to let Agent Togamero leave. Wrong voice. To defend this case, it's insufficient to overturn the witness's claims. I will now turn this case over to the jury. They may decide the verdict. Not so fast. Oh, weird, weird Texas face. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Detective. Waters. That's right. You guys want evidence? Well, I got some. What? You do? Yeah, right had me check some number last night. That's right. We did. Sh we showed him the number from um from the DM that uh, Cody was in. This one right here. All right. I think I know what it was. What number? What are you talking about? P IPQT six zero nine one one two. You want to know what it is? It's an inter Interpol ID number. You don't mean? Yeah. Looks like Webb was an undercover Interpol agent. Really? I called them and they confirmed it, so it wasn't... Okay, 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 let's... Interesting. He wasn't even supposed to let anybody know, not even the police here. An Interpol agent? That's amazing. Yeah, well, get this. His mission was investigating corrupt officials working off the payroll of the Rivalis family. So he wasn't a criminal after all? I knew it. Well, it wasn't a bad guy. He was working... wasn't working for the family, he was working against them. What got updated here? Oh wait, I guess I have to click to get to see the update. Hold on. Walter Webb. Okay. It's just what I needed. Yeah, yeah, thank me later. Just do your thing and finish this. Damn, they're healing me all over again. Okay. 
Alright, back to the music, hold up, fuck. There we go, okay, 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 so now that we have that... Oh! Powers that be decided you're simply too dangerous to take alive. Would our government really assassinate? What do you know if they really did? I think we have to do the third one. So I was ordered to kill him. Okay, let's do this. What well, was too dangerous? Web is gone be- it's for the greater good? Yeah, it's a lie. That's a fucking lie. Take this bitch, get out of here. Fuck you. Ass hat, you fucking ass clown, fake ass men in black piece of shit. Everything makes sense, it wasn't what was working for the Ravalis family, it was you. You were the one who was been covering for them. So this whole investigation has been a corrupt cover up to protect himself? That's right, your honor. It wasn't about e stalking or frame or any of that. It was because of this count Stranger Love had been broken into. And now Interpol Agent Webb has had access to every incriminating thing he had ever written. What about the FBI case? Somebody should have caught him on, on that if it was fake. Or wait, what? Maybe, maybe not. Don't know too much, but the FBI man had a whole case of files on him, so it must have been pretty bad. Remember how he, the screen cap and, he had the screen cap and witness forged? That's exactly what he did with those files. With that much backing you up, who would ever bother to question it? Can't prove this. Stranger Love is gone, remember? So even if Sims wanted to, he couldn't let you use it to find out. You're right. But we wouldn't need Stranger to Love. There's somebody else we can get information from. And that is this person. He has to be the, uh, this person, right? Ursa Major 777. Another Ravalis family account on the site. And one I know you've been talking to. I don't think the music's actually working here, because I have, like, another custom song for the uh, Pursuit theme. So let me load it up, just in case I have to end up playing it. Where is it? I'll just keep it in the background, just in case I have to play it. That's gone! If the family took down Stranger to Love, they would have erased that, too. Well, how about we find out? Can't hurt to look. ER, the defense requests have Ursa Major's account checked. Understood. Bailiff, get Mr. Sims. I wanted to help us here. Alright, so we're gonna get the fucking weeaboo back here. They didn't take it down, did they? Something tells me it's still there. He wanted this to happen. Madeira set me up. Is that a confession? Call it whatever you want. Confession works- Yo, he's pulling out the blicky. Oh! <laughs> Where'd you get that? FBI agent? I convinced the bailiff to give me special permission to keep it. You know, has a backup plan. You may have exposed me, but you won't be bringing me in today. Somebody do something! No, nobody move an inch. You're going to all stay right where you are. And I'm going to leave. Anybody moves and they die. I like how he's pointing to us too. God damn. Skin the phone call. Sorry, that's mine. Silly text messages always come up at the strangest times. Togomero? If you put down the gun, perhaps you could leave this courthouse alive. I don't think you're in a position to bargain right now. That's where you're wrong. After all these years, I've trapped you. I'll admit, your little excuse about a government mission almost worked. Too bad for you. You didn't take the opportunity to leave then. What do you mean? Would you believe me if I told you the Federal Bureau is waiting right outside? That was them calling my phone just now. They have the place surrounded, yo. What? what? I called the local branch during our recess and notified. That's why he wanted the recess. Okay. Okay, Obadiah Stain. Okay. Nonsense. They wouldn't just sit back this whole time and wait. They didn't. They just got here. That's where Wright came into the picture. Huh? I knew he wanted me to stall. He didn't realize it, but those past few testimonies have been nothing more than an attempt to stall you until they arrived. It seems he had figured it out, but it was too... It was... You were... You were too vain to, or too late to do anything, I guess. I guess too vain could also work too, but hey. You could have walked away at any time and used your friends to disappear off the map. But you didn't. So really, you have nobody to blame for this outcome but yourself. It seems that your effort to pin this blame on books. You have convicted yourself. No! That's not true! That's impossible! <laughs> Did you really just quote Luke Skywalker? Damn! 
That bitch snapped his fucking glasses. He is screeching. Oh, he's still going on it. Damn. Oh. Interpol's have been after me for a while. Webb's been, or Webb's been trying to build a case, but I never gave him enough for a warrant. My Rivalis contacts have always been able to cover for me. What is this song? Why does it sound familiar? Sounds like something out of Professor Layden. My Rivalis contacts have always been able to cover for me. Just as I've used my influence as a federal agent to cover for them. He wasn't anything more than a nuisance, so I never had a reason to take action. Then one day, something unexpected happened. Cody. Yes, that hacking skin broke into the stranger to love. We had leverage over Sims, so we were using the site to communicate. So when Hackens got in, he suddenly had access to everything I've sent, ever sent to the family. That's when Webb contacted me. He told me that he'd been in my account and would have a warrant out within the week. It was a lie, of course. He didn't break in. It was the kid. I got rid of what I could, but it wasn't enough. The two knew too much and it had to be eliminated. A full week? Why did it take too long? He did alert his people at Interpol. Too bad for him they couldn't spare any reinforcements at the time. The local police have a questionable relationship with the family. He had to figure out who he could trust first. Until then, it would be just him. During that week, he spent a lot of time staked out by Hacken's home. Made it hard to get to him. Why didn't he need to confront you about it? That's what killed him! You're right, it was foolish to risk himself for somebody else like that. What? You heard me. Webb was a trained international agent. He knew that was risky, but he did it anyway. I'm betting he did it to protect Hackens. Hackens has already gotten involved when he hacked my account, so there was no turning back. Can't say whether he suspected my true identity or he was just fooling around. Doesn't matter, after all, Webb only had one option available. To draw all my attention over to himself. Before he died, Webb arranged for Hackens to be taken in to the police. He didn't tell them much, but he, was, he wasn't to be arrested. It was for protection. Oh, that's why he was just chilling at the criminal affairs dam. Silly boy didn't work though, since I'd gotten the site's IP log from Sims. Stupid man, lost his life for nothing. Cause we got them both in the end. You make me sick. Don't be such a drama queen, Williamson. You won. You got me. Oh, and right? Yes? Word of caution, I'd watch my back if I were you. You just made some very powerful enemies. Bailiff, what is the status of Agent Dogabear? He's been arrested, Your Honor. The Bureau has taken custody of him. Seems he even he it seems he had even his superiors convinced of Webb's criminality. Those are some rather convincing documents he had. I see. He must have had a lot of experience with forgeries. Yes, it seems so. Answers a lot of my own questions about him. What about the witness, Mr. Sims? He was just as much of a victim as those two were. He and his mother will be taken into the witness protection program. Nothing will happen to either of them. Williamson, you said earlier that you've known Togamere for a long time. He was a witness in the case I took several years back. Nothing you needed to be concerned with. And, this whole time it was just a distraction? Not just. You were able to extract a confession. I'm sure the Bureau will be thankful for that. And beyond that, you kept him here rather than walking out. Had that happened, he may have escaped for good. I had to keep you out of the loop so that he would put on a convincing show. Oh, uh, you're, well, you're welcome for that. You really pissed me off with what I was trying to fucking do because I had no clue what else I was supposed to do because, like, nothing, nothing was working during that testimony. Yes, perhaps I also just wanted to see you squirm. You would. I've been convinced for a while that the man was a pawn of the Rivalis family. It's not easy for me to say this, but thank you, Wright. It's good to see him finally behind bars. Oh, well, you're welcome. Oh, of course, that's not to say I don't realize you weren't thinking about that today. You only had your own selfish goals in mind. Still, you did your part. You know, this wasn't the first time I could have ended this trial in my favor. Yesterday, I could have had your witness indicated, or indicted, but I didn't. Huh. Never mind, I guess he's still too stubborn to change his mind. Your Honor, the jurors have received the, reached their verdict. Oh yes, thank you. It is unanimous. It's court fights the defendant Epic Books.
Not guilty, let's go. Why is the fucking music still playing, by the way? Court is adjourned. Okay, I thought the music was bugged for a second because I was like, why is it not ending? Alright, this fucking weird ass, like, Bart Simpson looking ass, he looks like a blue badger, bro. Great justice has been served! Did you see that? Did you see that? I certainly hope I lived up to your expectations. Lived up to them? You blew them away! I can die happy now. Hey, yeah, it looks like I made his day in more, than way more ways just than not, not guil that, that guilty verdict. Although there's one thing you never solved. But maybe even you can't. What's that? Walt, I still never get to, get to apologize to him. Mr. Books, you shouldn't be so quick to throw this friendship out of the window. But he told me to leave and not come back. He said he didn't want me around anymore. Yes, but not for the reason you think. Nick and I found something yesterday while we were on his account. We think you should see it. Oh, there was another- Oh yeah, we did see that. Uh, thing, but they never showed it to us. Uh, Ed, I know your la our last conversation ended on a rather sour note. The truth is, things around my place are going to get dangerous soon. I don't know when or how it'll happen, but when it does, you can't be there. I'm doing this to protect you, buddy. Don't know if you'll ever see this, but if you do, I hope you'll be able to forgive me. Your friends, Walt. Walter. Forgive me, Walter. <laughs> he was going to send that to me? He never got the chance. Looks like he was writing it around the time he was shot. But that means he knew I was just joking. He didn't hate me after all. He really do have the answers for everything. We should look at burger <laughs> burgers. Nick's buying. What? Maya? Oh, thanks, Phoenix, right? It's settled then, come on. Wait, Maya. So much has changed in eight years. But at the same time, so little. Hey, let's go, that's it. That kind of ended a little bit crazy, but... We're finally done this case, look at this. I think this is like the third, uh, technically the fourth stream. Creepy reporter guy interviews girl and publishes, end quote. When AF find out... Oh... I, I, I can't read this, I can't keep, keep up right now, I'm tired. Also my roll a bit, I guess I'll have Mr. Right to Tank for it. There are girls! There are girls on the internet! Bro, I like how there's little like these little credit sequences at the end of every episode. It's kind of like every episode is kind of its own like little game. An entire fan club of right worshippers. You know, I'm surprised I didn't hear more complaining about that boss from that boss man. Must just be bottling that one up or something. I mean, you're you're still being a kind of dickhead. I did help you fucking get out of the fucking getting convicted as a murderer in the second case. Well, I'm certain I could glad I could help with the trial today. I wish I could have seen that brave lawyer's face as he exposed the killer. What was his name? Uh, P uh, P Payne? Oh, no, that's not it. Ah, it started with a W. W. Winston. Oh, maybe it was Payne after all. I wish I could have seen Mr. Payne. <laughs> okay. I do, I do hope that coroner guy shows up in future cases, which I'm pretty sure he will. Like, he kind of only showed up for a bit, and, like, his whole stick of kind of just, like, just being, like, a weirdo when it comes to bodies, I think that's pretty funny. It's busy helping Maya this time, but I can't wait to help with the next case. Although, Polly does need somebody to look after him, so maybe not the next one. I really want Apollo to be in this game. Definitely helping Daddy after that, because I want to see what they're going to do with Apollo in a... in a game that didn't have dual destinies in mind. I know, I know Phoenix has his dual destinies, like, design. But that was just like an update after the game was already finished. Yeah, because someone else made a, those uh, sprites for him. As you can see on the screen right here. Voice of Edmund Books and beta testing. Okay. It's a pretty decent case. I still think I prefer the second one though. He's done it again. In the two, two cases he's worked on, Wright managed to put away a serial killer and a corrupt federal agent. <laughs> I'll admit, I'm beginning to see where you got that reputation. But don't tell him I said that. I do- I did like this case for, like, the whole internet aspect. I think that's a very creative idea, but I also think it kind of made things very complicated. That's my main complaint with this, with the uh, chapter, is that everything was just way too complicated. 
like even more complicated the shit that happens in like Spirit of Justice with all the spirit channeling and shit. Because at least that's kind of easy to understand once you get the gr rap grasp of it. But when you have all like these IP addresses and usernames and shit, it gets pretty confusing and hacking and like DMs and. But I did like the uh, investigation stuff where you had to go online. Might have to disconnect her. What? what did she say? I don't remember. Okay, we have the theme songs. I actually did change Detective Waters' theme to a uh, theme from uh, the Edgeworth Investigations 3 uh, soundtrack. Oh, so some of the music is actually original in here. Oh, his song was a thing from Ghost Trick, okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure the uh, Ghost Trick composer is the same one who did Ace Attorney. Vocals song by Hasume Miku. I actually... <laughs> I actually replaced that song with, uh, It Has To Be This Way for Metal Gear Rising. Investigation Other Means is from 999, okay. I'm actually planning on doing a Let's Play of that game in the future. I could stream it, but I think a Let's Play would work a little bit better for what I want to do, because I don't have to, like, do, like, a long-term stream. Attacking the Necromancer King with your Paladin. Something smells. What are you doing? Our flank is exposed now. This man's just playing on his fucking computer. Alright, love machine. Cover the throne room so they don't swarm us. I like how they made the chief a bigger character in this. That was also pretty cool. And I also like the kind of small references to like other characters through like the usernames. Inspiration, Contempt of Court. I do have to play that game. I do want to play Contempt of Court because I know that game is like the OG Phoenix Wright, um... Phoenix Wright, uh, fan game. And I know it's really good as well. But I wanted to check this one out first. Um, but we still have two cases left. I don't know when I'm next going to stream. I might stream something in between. Just to take a small break, break between the case. Because I did stream this over the past week. Bad player. That's a real person. <laughs> Bad player is a real person. I need, I need to figure out who that fucking man is. Oh, that's weird. No, I'm not going to do that. Of course, special thanks to you for playing. Okay. That is all. Now for the game to crash like it always does at the end of the fucking case. Come on, do it. Or else it just gets stuck on the screen. Come on, crash. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Solid Snake, hold on. Colonel, I, I've infiltrated this Ace Attorney fan game. Yes? Mr. Mentheris, Agent Togamera, has been just arrested. Yes, I know. Shouldn't we be concerned? It's the bat! It's the bat! Okay, I can't do that voice right now. We just lost one of our most powerful allies. No, he's been more of a burden lately. He knew far too much and had to let it go to his head. So it was more important than he actually was, or thought he was more important than he actually was. Tried to get too involved, if you will. Hmm, huh, I guess you see your point. It was foolish of him to kill Hackins, like the Hackins kid. That was funny, sir. Togamera needed the kid out of the way, but I hadn't, he had no, or, or had no way of getting to him. Or had no way to get, get to him. So I had him lend me his gun. What? So he wasn't even the guy who killed him. What the fuck? He didn't kill Hackins. I didn't. Who was it? The only other people we saw was the assistant of the fucking guy, the chief prosecutor, a few other people. Weird. Interesting. Okay. Uh, before I end the stream, I'm actually going to go back into this and check out, kind of give myself a small teaser of what the, uh, the next case has to give to me. Just to make me uh, think about it, you know? So let's do that. Let's see who's watching. All of you guys watching this, let's check out this nice teaser here real quick. Let's check this out. Okay. Games. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Okay. By the way, this game runs on a program called PY Wright, which I'm pretty sure is an engine that runs off Python. That it, It's pretty good. You can make your own shit on this if you have any knowledge about Python. I don't. Turn about consequences. Okay, we got this man on the front. Alright, let's see. I just want to see the intro to see what this is all about. 
Yes, the Ace Attorney series is property of Capcom, nobody played the game. It's a game made by the fans for the fans. Okay. Turn about consequences. Why is he playing the Dahlia Hawthorne theme? <laughs> That's weird. Life is full of regrets. Even if something feels right, it can be completely wrong. The time felt right. But it wasn't. Sometimes there is no too soon or too late. Your search for the truth finally ends and you suddenly wish you were blind again. What? You're only left with regret. And the right time was never. It's a sniper rifle though. Did someone just get fucked? Hold on. Writing code law office says hold the f What? Why is the black why is the bottom screen not showing up? Hold on, this is It didn't say write anything agency, it said write and co. Is this like a pass case? Hmm? Huh? What was that? Yeah, that is, that is the background from, uh... From, like, the first Ace Attorney game when we had to investigate the office. Must have fallen asleep on the couch again. Somebody there? Trucy, was that you? Huh? Why is this here? I'll have to put it back. Trucy? Maya? Pearl? Must have been nothing. <sighs> What's that all about? Hold on, what's going on here? Dang it, who on earth? Yes. Got the girl. Who are you? Nick! Girl's gone, we'll see her again. Maya Trucy? What close? What? Hold on. Still alive. Safer than she was when you. Who are you? What do you want? Damn, I'm having a seizure right now. Okay, you know what? I think that's the perfect place to let it off. I think... It might be a flashback to what happened to Pearl. But it might be something else. Did you just shove me off the couch? Pork didn't know what kind of bum falls asleep in his office. I'm trying to get a hold of you all morning. Look at the time, we gotta go. Uh, 10.52, and? Like for the re reunion, okay, that's that's the place I wanna end off there. So we're gonna see what that big reunion's gonna be about next time I stream this, which might be Friday? It could be Friday, I don't know. Um, maybe Friday, Friday or Saturday. Cause I'm gonna stream like either the NES Classic Edition stream or another Sonic Adventure 2 because I haven't done a Sonic Adventure 2 in a while. I've been planning on working on some mods for that. Okay, but we're going to find someone to raid right now. Um, if anyone in chat has anybody who they want me to raid, anybody small, because I like raiding smaller streamers, then uh, tell me about that. But let me check Twitch right now and see that. Hmm. Okay, I don't think I was typing in here. Um. This means streaming is a night camera. What the fuck? Only sleeping. What the fuck? Point and click adventure game, bro. What the fuck is this mean? Streaming his house. What the shit is this? Okay, sure, sure then. I don't know, man. I need to raid somebody, so uh, let's see who who else is raiding uh, or playing Ace Attorney. Anyone playing Great Ace Attorney? Not someone that speaks English. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's me.
You know, I'll read this guy. He has only one viewer. Why not? Twisted Ghost Gaming. Let's raid this person with the six viewers we got right now because I need to go to bed because I got class to wake up for. Uh, what was it? I already, I already forgot the name. What the hell was it? Twisted Ghost. Okay. I don't know what this person's all about, but a hey, they're playing Ace Attorney too. They they haven't said his feet is for Ace Attorney, but it's actually Justice for All. So a hey, I think this person's taking a break, but hey, whatever. He's playing the best case in the second game, so why not? Let's raid. And it's balling me the miss of doing that. Stream is ending now. Damn, it doesn't work. Watch the show. Or watch the show. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Danception. I appreciate that. Alright, well, passing hey, along doing well. the raid train. Alright, but that's going to be it for today's stream, guys. Uh, thanks for the people who followed, and thank you, uh, f can't, why, why can't I remember your name? What the fuck? Why can't I remember? Fucking timeless. There we go. I was, I was thinking timeless. I was like, no, that can't be it. That's just a word. But fucking, whatever. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys, uh, if you decide to stick around, either on Thursday or Saturday, uh, which is going to be either Sonic Adventure 2 or starting Case 4 of this game that I just finished Case 3 on. So see you guys.